Yeah. Look, everybody, we're working on it, okay? All right. There you go. We've got the music going. Thank you, Jeff, for accommodating. And it is Carly's birthday edition of Cocktails Crafting Crossover Creepshow Creation Croft. Fuck it. It's I didn't her know birthday. If we're gonna do a birthday. See the birthday thing. banner in the background. We've got, We've got balloons. Balloons. We all got hats. Throw a balloon at us. And we'll do that. I get to use this mug. We've got that mug. That's the birthday mug. I mean, per a perfect a show about having full drinks everywhere. So let's just throw balloons into the mix. <laughs> it is the Carly birthday oh, celebration, yeah. everybody. Feels more New Year's Eve to me, to be honest with you. It's a little New Year's Eve, but either way, we're happy to break in the half year. It's a half year happy birthday for Carly's celebration, and we've got thank drinks, you. we've got thinks, we've got all sorts of things. We have, we have, I mean, we have all of the incentives. We've got the karaoke incentive, we've got the uh, the dance off incentive. All of those things we can kind of fall more into as we as we start to drink. Also, we will be doing uh, some watercolor painting. We're gonna do some painting. It's Carly's new year, exactly. This is Carly's new year, halfway through the year. Kinda true though, kinda true. And thank you for putting the incentives in there. I, 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 we don't even need an essay. Oh, and for five dollars, we will sing "Happy Birthday to Carly" literally every time it's donated because we want, we're, we wanted to go insane tonight. We have so many fun things to do tonight. We should just kind of jump into them. And the first thing we're gonna do is make a drink. The second thing we're gonna do is paint. Because it's the crafting cocktail crossover. We'll talk about our lives. I have questions over here in the hat. We got we got possible karaoke. We've got possible dance-offs happening. It's going to be a phenomenal night. I think we're going to even take a... She's a man, baby. Happy birthday, Carly. Love you, girl. So what do we have here for the karaoke? India, do you have a karaoke request to start oh, the show? Ready, set, go. Well, we'll, right. we'll, we'll make a drink first. Because I feel like you need some lubricant I'm to be so able to festive. sing. And then, sure, wear the hat. Don't wear it. This is we. We'll, it makes more sense that we wear it and less sense that you wear it. Uh, Lexi ran out. Got Carly a bunch of stuff. It's it's going to be a fun she fun got time. She a magic eight ball. I said, I, I said to Lexi, I said, Carly likes, Carly likes silly little trinkets. So if you could just like get her some dumb trinket. Do. I like fun things. It's all about being fun. <laughs> And it is useful. That's going to be useful to me. <laughs> this is the part of the show where Carly like justifies her trinket, trinket chaos. addiction. And then Magic 8 Ball is just like, which one are you going to get? Which one are you going to get? You yes. Know? Absolutely. So it. it's a happy birthday for Carly. And if you, I'll tell you what, if you throw $5 out right now, we'll sing happy birthday to her. And then if you do it eight more times, we'll have to, we'll be obligated to do it eight more times. <laughs> Uh, but let's get that. let's let's stop talking about incentives. Let's stop talking about <laughs> fucking birthdays. Let's stop talking about all that shit and let's make the summer Manhattan Rye Dumene Rouge. By the way, I think you misspelled uh put an extra O in that Rouge there. Regan's number six orange bitters. Maybe it was just emphasis. Rouge. Yeah, that's uh it's intentional. He's being clever. Was that intentional, Jeff? It was And the song is I Hate Myself for Loving You. So there you go. That'll be whenever you're ready. That's the India uh, karaoke incentive. But we're going to make a drink oh first. Goodness. She's a man, baby. Oh, do I not have the thing? Fi Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carly. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. I did it again. You're welcome. You did it again. You turned an age Happy yet again. Birthday. You turned an age yet again, and we are all thankful for it. Um, w let's do this. Okay, so the next ingredient, or the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put two parts rye into the glass. That's two parts rye so, into the glass here. Now, uh, that's Walter. Do you recognize? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Walter. Uh, that's Perfect. Walter. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. This is also Carly's special birthday cup. Uh, we all have normal ones. Carly will have a special one. Minus. Holden makes me armpits wet and tingly. Thank you, Fern. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm actually making making these for uh, uh, the three of us and Lexi. So 
I'll be doing eight shots here. Eight shots here, but that's because, again, he's making them for multiple people. Do not put eight shots in your drink. That would be a mistake, Unless okay? You're like, like, you're like really metal. You're just like so. Count them up. Four? <laughs> I guess if you're metal, you should probably put eight shots into your first drink. Because yeah. why not? <laughs> Dude, speaking of metal, I can't. Yeah, Lexi's uh, right now, she's in the shower. She was just here. She was in the shower. She's in the shower. She's cleaning herself up. She went to her Pilates class. I can't see what I'm doing. So <laughs> I think it's more like nine or ten shots. So, so um, what else was I about to say? I was about to say uh, that it's a special day. I was not about to say that, but I can't remember what I was about to say. So yeah, we don't have to talk about my birthday the whole time. I feel very special. It's a very special day. You're so old, and it's so sad, and so it's just a very important. Is Jeff using a melon baller to pour shots? Asks Final <laughs> Fantasy King Nine. I am using my uh, my awesome like Swiss Army bar tool thing here. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. It is a Swiss Army bar tool, and I was gonna say, speaking of metal, I was rewatching the other night, uh, uh, Decline of Western Civilization Part Two, the Metal Years, and it is one of my favorite documentaries of all time. It is about the metal scene in L.A. like in the '80s, and it is fucking hilarious and tragic and fascinating and everyone needs to watch it. Okay, what do we got next? Next we've got step two and please do this if you're Q. It is one part Dubonnet Rouge. One part Dubonnet Rouge. I see there you've got a little bit of um, oh, what's the name of that movie? It's like Falcor or something with um, what's his name? Oh, that was uh, Zardoz, yeah. Zardoz, yes. I had a hard time finding, I wanted to find like a lot of like, like goofy 70s like summer that one kind of works. I say that one works. He's at the beach. I He's just really prepared. see what I'm doing that well, so I'm hoping this is working out. <laughs> Why can't you see very well? Because the angle? Yeah, yeah. You're doing good. I'll tell you when it's almost... When? Okay. I'll tell you when. I'll it's scream a, when. A little extra went into it. That's good because a little bit of uh, extra rye went in as well. A so. little bit extra goes a long way. Love you too, Hong Kong Henry 69 Not as sexy as it was a couple of weeks ago. Wow, really? What's it got pretty sexy, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. What were you guys doing? I can't remember. I guess that's how sexy it was. <laughs> Step three. Three dashes, Reagan's own, uh, Reagan's number six, Orange Bitters. And is that Nemesis from Resident Evil 3? That is, and Tom Selleck. I love that how quickly I was able to recognize Nemesis from Resident Evil 3 and how uh, a game I played when I was a child, and yet I saw a picture of Walter and I had no idea until Carly told me. <laughs> so that's that's pretty telling right there, I think. That's pretty telling right there. Um, okay, what else do we got here? We have... Stir with ice and strain into glass. And I believe that is another reference to a horror video game that is actually the um, triangle head, pyramid head, right? From um, Death Awaits Her. The scary game Death. No, no, it's a Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Very good. Very fine game. Jeff is also a gaming man. Pyramid Head Daddy. That's right, India. That's right. So is Kissel the pooper? I've denied it the whole time. He's my hero. Look, Fern, I'm not going to say he wasn't the pooper, but I'm going to say he was the pooper. He was the pooper. We've been talking about this pooper for, <laughs> for years. So many years. But I love it. I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's a, it is a still valid Until the question. person withouts themselves, it should happen. You know what I mean? You don't get away with that shit. You don't shit. get away with that shit. <laughs> you don't get away with that <laughs> stupid <laughs> shit. Okay, so we're just straining. All right, getting a little strain here. Is that a step five for us right here? Step five, give Carly a birthday cheers oh, is the step five. Goodness. Give Carly a birthday cheers. Oh, so we've got a birthday that. celebration. Are you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> we've got a birthday celebration. I wish you had added your face to the sunflower there <laughs> instead I, of the I, sunflower. Yeah. I finished those actually last night at about oh, wow. one in the morning. Oh, my so goodness. So Jeff, you worked too hard for this show. Day, uh, the fact that you drink a thumb with Daddy Jared, actually. Yeah, That's which awesome. is beautiful. No, the fact that you put all this thought into it is just lovely. There you go. Thank uh, you for please. all the birthday wishes. And everybody. I put a, a small you. amount of thought in it as well by asking Lexi to pick things up <laughs> for me. Thank you, Holden. To, uh, all right, it's time for the birthday ah. cheers. We'll, we'll leave Lexi's there. To Carly, Lexi will get hers right. later. So there you go. Cheers, y'all. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Gosh, which side of her head do you think? That side's usually the preferred side. 
the turned over side. It's actually very, it's a very hard to use mug, but I love it. Who remembers Mattress Gate with Kiss refusing to take the mattress from the studio? Absolutely everybody, because it was ridiculous. It was a free mattress. I still hold to the theory that no one pooped in the shower and it's just a bit that got out of hand. I mean, a bit that what? So Lexi, Le oh, Jesus Christ, Carly gets to happens. pick the dance off song "Happy Birthday." Oh. So we're immediately doing a dance off and a karaoke song. Zach Berger, I she's a man, pick. baby. Yeah, we're gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna pick the dance off song. Should we dance to your to your karaoke? Well, sure I no, I think we'll do the karaoke well. song separate. You guys might still have to, you know, you're this is gonna in. be That's insane. Right. This solo. tonight is going to get crazy and i'm very excited about that we're gonna do a karaoke song right now we're gonna do a dance off right after that and then we're gonna do some painting until someone makes us do that all over again uh have so here we go have you had a drink at home? uh yeah oh please this is delicious by the way I, I haven't even had a chance to think about the drink so much is happening it is a party people it's this very is, delicious this is the most exciting party i've been to in years and that is not in any way depressing <laughs> is it strange that this feels like like a monkey brain right thing. I feel monkey like brains uh oh you just won the monkey brains challenge anytime <laughs> oh, no. someone mentioned monkey brains everyone has to go monkey brains do you know what movie that's from well, I, I know two monkey brains from uh, in, in, the temple in the temple of doom yeah what's that monkey brains wait what does he say chilled monkey, chilled brains. monkey yeah. brains you got it right this Jung and painting will be a hoot. Library Mouse, I think we may end up going to like 11 tonight because it's a special okay. night. We want to party with you guys and we want to have a lot of fun, all right? And essentially, or, or as soon as one of us takes our shirt off, then we will also quit. If Jeff does it, if I do it. Oh, that's the signal. The lady, it's yes. Spoiler, it's going to be me or It's going to, uh, yeah. Well, I said shirt. Carly's wearing a dress. Okay. Lord knows Lexi's gonna dress to the nines for this fucking thing. She Is goes she? crazy for these events. She loves big events like these. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> That's some racist shit. Yeah, it's oh yeah, there's plenty of it. Oh yeah, there's it's plenty of it. I was it's talking totally about racist. that, oddly enough, I mentioned Daddy, Daddy Jared a moment ago with him about that, I think last night at some point, we mentioned uh -huh. Campbell Doom. We were talking about how problematic that movie is yeah. actually in uh, I bet. Oh, when you see sure. it, I could see it. I mean, it's still fun, but what was the name of the song again? Was it the Your uh, It was. It was. Uh, I hate myself for loving you. I hate Joan myself Jett. for loving you, Joan Jett. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh. I can back you up on that. Though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll yeah. be easy. My wife easy. Does the karaoke. It's awesome. Well, you should bring her around for. Oh yeah. Some crossover we'll, we'll bring streams. Her over for, uh, she's definitely gonna come for the Sherlock episode when we get into the Oh. All right. All right. Whoa there, Joan Jet. Whoa there, Joan Jet. She's ready. Okay. She's all ready to go Singing. here. Ready, set, sing stuff. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Mm -mm. Let me just add it to the screen so that they can sing along with us. That's probably a strange sound in the microphone. Sorry. I like, I like just a little squirrel little noises. Hey, it's your birthday. If you want to make squirrel noises, make, make fucking squirrel noises. Yeah, so okay. that's completely fine. That's all I ever wanted for my birthday. Squirrels. You have to do I Hate Myself for Loving You, but to the tune of Take Five by um the name oh, of the guy man. I cannot think of right now. All right. And we'll pause this. And we'll rock this. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. That was my warm up. That was your warm up right there. <laughs> all right, all right, let's do it. All right. Got some happy birthdays you in chat. Turn this up a little bit. Yeah, though. yeah, you got, got to. All right. Thank you. Is that crazy in their ears? There you go. I turn it up a little bit okay. for them, so they. I, I have us a little louder. Yeah, you guys join me. I'll join, I'll do Midnight, get up tight, and where are you? Where are you? You said you meet me, now it's quarter to two. Quarter to two! And now I'm hanging, but I'm still wanting you. Wanting yeah. you! Hey, Jack, it's back there talking in town. I've turned my back, and you're messing around. I'm not getting jealous. Don't look like a clown. Of course! You. Oh, fuck. I and I didn't date. You, you took, took my heart and you took
took my pride away. Loving you can't break free from the things that you do. I wanna walk. I wanna run walk. Back to you. Run That's back. I hit myself for roaming you. Go go. Bird solo. Go 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 do go do go 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 do. Go go do go do go do. Go go. Bird solo over. Gotta give that bird. Not without you, but I've been dreaming about the loving you do. I'm not being angry about the hate put me through. Remember that you can't treat, treat me, me right. It's like there's two you verses. You just don't so know bad. what I was missing last <laughs> night. I want to see you begging for just a spot. I think it's of you every, every night, night and day. You took my heart and you took my pride away. Loving you. Can't break free from the things that you do. Things that you do. I wanna walk, but I'll run back to you. That's why I hate myself for loving you. Ah, beautiful resonant, resonant songwriting. Oh my God, the bird's back. I think of you every night and day. You took my heart and it took my pride away. I hate myself for loving you. Can't break free from the things that you do. I want to walk, but I run back to you. That's why I hate myself for loving you. Myself. Are you ready for this Loving part of the karaoke you. that kind of sucks? <laughs> what do you think you're done? You have to do it like eight times. I want to walk, but run back to you. Hate myself for loving you. Hate myself. See, this always happens. Like, I did not sign up for this many choruses at the end. Okay. Loving you. Hate myself. All right, I think that's. Now nah, we did the whole thing. For loving you, I hate myself. <laughs> now you have to do the whole thing. For loving you, I hate myself. 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 I, hate myself. I, I fucking hate myself. Good work, Carly. That's our first karaoke song of the night. Okie dokie, karaoke, mama, can I get a pokey? What are we talking about tonight, everybody? Please. The song, the song that won't end. Every karaoke, I feel like every, what happens so many times in karaoke is people don't realize how many times the chorus of a popular song gets repeated at the very end. Oh, yeah. And then you get oh, locked into it, and you're just like, I was done four choruses ago with this song you know what i mean as it gets closer so i can't wait to hang out with you guys when I get to nyc beautiful and thank you again india for donating for that and now you get to choose yeah, i'm just fun. glad i just ate that panang curry now you get to choose what uh fun uh fucking uh song we're gonna uh, dance off to jesus god mr bandini just came with the tent what are we gonna do with this oh, one thank you what are mr. we gonna bandini. do with this one mr bandini <laughs> Uh, it's up to you. Let us know in chat, Mr. Bandini, what song you would like for us to do karaoke for. We're never going to paint anything, uh, which I'm fine with. I think that'll be amazing. If we, ne if you guys keep us from ever actually getting to paint because of your amazing support, I will, I will, I will happily dance and sing like a fucking maniac <laughs> while just getting loaded on Manhattans. I'll dance paint too. We got so goblin. We did too. We got very goblin. Let's, let's, uh, Dan Ooh, Mother is our karaoke song. Oh. Is Mother our karaoke song? I, I think we owe them a full-on dance-off, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Also, Mother will be a horrible song to do a dance-off to, but you get to choose, Birthday Girl, what songs we're going to dance-off to right okay. now. Okay. What would you like? Yeah, let, me, let me think. So we do, I would say keep them on the short, or it's only, it's always three minutes. I think you cut us off at three minutes no matter what, okay? Hmm. 
um and it's one for me one for jeff i think we're gonna start kind of you know i have me i need to slam some more of those i need a moment i have to look at my phone i'm bad with songs. you have to look at your phone because you have to think of okay cool no worries you're fine with four people drinking we might have to actually make another liquor runner <laughs> that's fine That is fine. It is a party celebration. I, well, how about for me, um, uh, Bombs Over Baghdad? Can that be one? I'm just throwing shit out there. Hey Ya is another Outcast song. What do you, or you can go way off like any realm of danceableness, by the way. We did like, people kept choosing Bjork for us, remember? That was pretty fun. So it's uh, it depends. Sometimes it's great to get a banger for dancing. Sometimes it's good to get like a really weird one for dancing. We're gonna wanna, yeah, kick this up. A little so bit. what do you? Okay. How about this? Okay. Mm. How about Ocean Man by Ween? Okay, Ocean Man by Ween, and that'll be which one for me or Jeff? Oh, I thought this was dance off. Well, one of us does one, okay. and then the other one does the other, oh, and then we. Oh no! Actually, no. This is the dance off, so that's different. Do we take we we we, we tag, out tag in and yeah, out? Yeah, okay, cool. So. Dance off is gonna be uh, Ocean Man by Ween. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right, I'm gonna turn the music way up. It's still too early. You gotta keep the tie on. All right. All right, are you ready for this, everybody? This is going to be Ocean Man by Ween for the first dance off song. And you guys here, let me create the poll right now. Um, let me create the poll right now. Uh, dance. Off, number one, Jeff Holden. I'm just gonna put Carly there in case they don't like either of us. I think. Uh, All I, right. I, I, Carly's gonna win. <laughs> Already. I know. All right. So here's the poll in chat right here. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. You ready? Flaming success. That was excellent. That was excellent. And the shoes. Dedication. And the shoes are officially off. Oh, she's up. Man, baby. Cordo underscore, thank you so much for the sub. You're already wearing flip flops. I'm going to step on some boots. No, no. Don't worry. No, you're fine. I mean, that'll be fine. That'll be great. It'll be great. That was very good. What'd you guys vote? Okay. I think Curly's winner. No. I think Carly wins that one. No, Thank you for like the Twitch Prime wins. sub. I don't like easy wins. There you go. And where is it right here? Straw poll. What do we got here? Dance off number one. And the results are in. Jeff with an overwhelming wow. victory. Overwhelming victory. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, 
You guys I mean, definitely I, practiced that choreography before. Absolutely. Fantastic. Go vote, nerds. Absolutely. Jeff still largely in the lead, and Carly is also beating me <laughs> in the dance off. 100 bits for Jeff killing it off. Just right? brutal. Just brutal. Yeah, that was awesome. That was very good. Okay, so. I enjoyed it. experimental as the evening goes on. And I went and giggled in the corner. So, um, <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, um, and then we do, do we have another song at some point, too? Oh, yes, I have to do Mother. You have to do Mother by Danzig. All right, cool. Do you want to do that now, or do you want to get painting for a little bit first? No, let's do it. Let's, let's do it, and then we'll bust it all. It's going to be hard to go from, like, oh, what the feathers into right. Mother. Roll with it. Exactly. Okay, cool. So, okay, so you want to do it right now? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's do it right now. Yes, you will absolutely get dance lessons for sure. Um, okay. Uh, Mother Danzig. Care Aoki. To kick off the party right. immediately. Definitely fantastic. There's still parts of this song I'm probably going to mess up. All right, cool. That's fine. It's going to be fine. Um, all right. Okay. This is going to be fine. We'll help. I'm not too worried. Yeah, right, right below the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Your head just. Fuck <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. Yes. <laughs> Tell your children not to walk my way. Tell your children not to hear my words. What they mean, what they say. Mother. Mother. Can you keep them in the dark for life? Can you hide them from the waiting world? Oh. Father, not about to see your light, but if you want to find her with me, I can show you what it's like, till you're bleeding, not about to see your light, and if you want to find her with me, I can show you what it's Not about to see your light, but if you want to find hell with me, I can show you what it's like, till you're bleeding. Not about to see your light, and if you want to find hell with me, I can show you what it's like. Yeah. Oh, am I? I could be swaying too much. Sorry, buddies. Here, scoot in a little bit too. I'm gonna put this up here so people can see it, but then it's not like. Not about to see your light, but if you wanna find hell with me, I can show you what it's like. Till you're bleeding. Not about to see your light, but if you wanna find hell with me. I can show you what it's like. Fuck you, fuck you. Get, 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 get. Do the robot, do the dance man. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you filthy mothers out there. You filthy, dirty mommies. That was good. We know. Thank you so much. That is. <laughs> that is actually that one. I forgot to tilt the camera down too. We have to tilt it up every time we do the We're dance still off. In hour one, you and I, I'm still usually just like like bitching about my job and. Like, <laughs> we have to keep it. Got the monkey head here. Um. All right. This is some John Butcher music. This is yeah, absolutely. This is some, I'm fucking Dig Holden's voice. Thank you so much. I, I see some very sweet. I see some very sweet uh, comments about the Kalman in there, too. Thank you so much, guys. We will be doing some touring. We will be doing some things eventually. Uh, we'll get there. You've done some common, I don't, like, like I don't know streams, haven't you? you done, like, some, uh, some no, rehearsals we, and stuff? Didn't we did one, one practice. Yeah. <laughs> we, have, we were supposed to get everyone Did your Jono not go through Mr. Butts? Let me see, Mr. Butts. I'll find out. Uh, Mr. Mr. Bandini? Was it Mr. Bandini with the tin? But no, that was for Mother. So, no, I don't think it has gone through yet. Maybe give it a second and then maybe try again if it doesn't uh, pop up. Okay. Yeah. That was super fun. I'm in love with Skeleton Dan. Thank you, Ranch Wizard. We appreciate it. That okay video is still really okay fun. Are we okay on drink right now? Uh, what now? Are we okay on drink? Should we like, get started with Should we do again? another? I think maybe if you would like... Should we I don't mix? know how fast we, we should be going. That's true, though. We might want to put it up. Why don't we get the setup with the... Let's get the setup going with the... Um, paints okay. and then we'll move into that and of course if you didn't already know this you've got uh we this is carly from the cowman i assume people know that though when they mention liking the cowman yeah i realize now mother is a really good song for me to do karaoke yeah a very good karaoke song for me i like dug that as a duet too actually yeah <laughs> Yeah, we rocked it. She's a man, baby. Love Shack by the B-52s because it was so great last time. All right, cool. We're going to set up uh, some paints. We're going to do Love Shack, and then we'll do some painting. Okay. Well, I mean, everything's pretty much set up. It just has okay, to let's just get it all kind of – we'll get it all out so literally when the song is done, we will immediately be painting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I mean. Thank you so much. And again, it is Carly's birthday. This is the birthday stream, and we appreciate all your donations. Who painted her dress? Who did paint your dress? Is that Van Gogh? I think that might be Van Gogh. No, it's not Van Gogh. That's not Van Gogh. It's like realism. Hit me with an incentives link since I'm a pleb. Instant three play. I think somebody will hook you up. She's a man. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carly. Happy birthday to you. Oh, is ten dollars the karaoke? Yes, ten dollars is the karaoke, but fuck it, Tommy. I'm a I'm a bad mod. <laughs> you should have known. You should have known. But this will be our other karaoke song, I think, eventually with Tommy. Give me one of these other brushes so that the human beings, nobody but me. All right, cool. So we'll do that. We will do that eventually as well. I assume Tommy's good for it, and uh, we'll just let it be. We'll just let it be. Was that my song? Yes, for five dollars we will sing "Happy Birthday to Carly" every single time it's donated. So that's. Yeah, I kind of like it. We've got some happy birthdays in the chat. Thanks, People very excited. Um, I was hanging out on Twitch Lord. on my birthday, and I gotta say, it was so lovely. People are so kind. People are very oh, kind. People are very friendly in the Twitch chat, and those that are not are immediately policed out of the Twitch chat. How much for birthday shots? Mm. How much for birthday? We can make it some obscene number. Like 50 bucks? That's not obscene. She's a man, baby! The other five from Tommy in order to fill out the actual incentive. Okay. So there you go. You're good on that.
She's a man, baby. Talking heads once in a lifetime. The the, the incentives are coming in hot and fast now. I love it. Are we writing these down? Yeah, yeah. Can you, yeah. Talking heads once in a lifetime. And. Heads once in a lifetime. Care a okay. And what was the other one? I didn't. Are you reading them or we want me to? And what was the other one? It was the. Tell me what was the other one that you said. Speak with you. Oh, love shack. Here. Of course. We don't even need the karaoke for this one, but. Love Yeah, we got it. All right, we're going to be doing a lot of karaoke here in just a little bit. Um, so here we go. Uh, but to start, we're getting some paintings set up so that we will actually do the crafting portion <laughs> of, the, of the crafting cocktails creation stream. Please, let's talk about our dreams, our worries. Uh, Jeff, you said you're intensely uh, terrified for um, just the fact that you have to support two lives and how nightmarish that is to wake up every day knowing that children's lives are in your hand. I, I, <laughs> you know what's what I find gets rid of that? You sit with a loaded gun in your mouth for 20 minutes. Sit with a loaded gun in your mouth for 20 minutes. Bathroom, every morning and uh, you know, you keep the safety on. Let's not go crazy. Yes. And then, uh, Hey, you keep the safety on, Carly. We're not talking about some fucking warped I bullshit. That. Nah, he shouldn't be it's saying actually, that, but he will no, say they're, that. They're, uh, they're amazing. We had a great Father's Day. Fantastic. Yep. And the children rejoice for the fathers everywhere. Um, okay, cool. Oh, so I will be using these. So <laughs> Jeff, tell your kids to tell your kids get a job, hippie. Oh my God. No. Tell your children, get a job, hippie. Just, oh. That's why I brought all these over, so there's oh, okay. options. There's yeah, they options. actually yeah. do. They have hand-eye coordination now. They can surely operate some kind of machinery. So I'll, uh... So here we go. What do we want to do? Do we want to do another song? Do we want to hop yeah. into some painting? Let's all right. Song. I got it all set up. We're good Okay, go. cool. We're going to do a little song Flash. here. This one's going to be yeah. Nobody But Me by the Human Beings. So get ready oh. for this one. Get ready for this one. Hot, hot and fresh. You think you know this one? I think I do. Fantastic. We'll see. Here, I might I boost. Read song titles. And I may boost your mic. Oh, oh my, my lord, she's a man baby. Please sing Mexican radio by Voodoo Wall, you fuckers. Be like a like just a concert. <laughs> What's <laughs> really right. fun is when Yes, uh, there have been a couple times where I haven't known the so the song at all. The even the Metallica, was it Metallica last time? It was cracking me the hell up. Hold in. Uh, Do you remember? Was it Metallica? It was Metallica. It was, was the, the whiskey and the, it was like a Metallica covering a. I haven't laughed that hard. Yeah, it was ludicrous. It was a long time. It was, was it was like, them covering yeah, I like can, a. I can wing this. Man, baby, thank you so much, Warm Rotisserie, for no, the resub. Okay, let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs> So well, I'm taking big, yeah, friendly yeah. sips. No, 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 oh, no, is it not? No, 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 like it wasn't the karaoke version. Tommy, it wasn't the karaoke I version. I do know this song. I do. And this is going to be fun. And if you at any point feel like dancing, this is a dancing song. You want me to do dancing in the background? This is a really good dancing song. Let's make this happen. That's going to be special for you. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm just saying. Nobody but me. 
Nobody. 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 Wow, 22 seconds of instrumental. Sorry, I just adjusted to call this microphone too. Hopefully that'll make it better, not worse. Let me know if it's too echoey. Hey, hey, y'all. My whole donation was office themed. Are ready for the no nos? Yep. No, 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 Oh yeah. No, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 oh, no, yeah. no, 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 oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 oh, yeah. no, 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 which no no is it? Don't worry, you don't have to dance Which this no, no. entirety of once in a lifetime. You did I think fantastic. I think take this one off. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Enjoy That's drink your drink. Thing, right? I would do a good, yeah, I would, I'd, I'd have fun doing a good birthday. Happy birthday, everybody in the world. Everybody, it's your birthday. Uh, I might just feel it dancing. You know, it's a tough one. Hope Jeff shows Isn't wifey the, the VOD. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Wait, Hasn't is this talking not? Already? This doesn't have I'm the just damn like, lyrics. I think he's. I was like, yeah, this is a really. Yeah, long this is bad. Intro. <laughs> well, I would assume that if I did a karaoke version, he has once a lifetime mic karaoke. No, that's somebody singing it. Wait, is there not a fucking karaoke version, an actual karaoke version of the song? <laughs> Like drunk dancing Slender Man in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one too. Really? Time karaoke. Interesting. Hold on a second. We can do this, probably. You could search the lyrics as well. I mean, we, do, should we just do the lyrics? and? No, I'm just saying if the lyrics were up. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a lot of time lyrics. Somebody type all the lyrics in chat. And oh, wait. <laughs> I think I just saw a version. That looks Track like one. Scene, it's but got it's moving only 30 words. Seconds, but oh. it's only 30 seconds. I mean, should we just look up the lyrics to the song? Yeah, I mean, and, just and then sing just it with play him. it with the thing, right? It's kind of taught singing anyway. The so. beginning is gonna be tricky so. coming in. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how. Long. I think it's just. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Find dun. yourself. Once in a beautiful time. home. Also, I'm gonna see if it's got it on More videos. Shots in fuckers. Nice. Is that you? You're Mr. Butts is four if, shots in, or are you saying are you suggesting that we're maybe. four shots in? I don't know how many we're shots. We're actually all two shots in at this point. Actually, you no. Know, I guess if you count Great. the uh, the in, three shots. In. He'll sing along with us, but it'll be fine. All right, we got it. Are right, you gonna? You gonna I am shocked that was so hard to find. I feel like this is the most Why obvious take, karaoke take, song take, ever. You may find yourself you living in a shotgun shack, and you may find yourself in another part of the world, and you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile, and you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. The beautiful fucking wife. You may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? Let the days go by. Let the water hold me down. Letting the days go by. Water flowing underground. Into the blue again. After the money's gone. Once in a lifetime. Water flowing underground. You may ask yourself, how do I work this? And you may ask yourself, where is that large automobile? And you may ask yourself, tell yourself, this is not my beautiful house. And you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful wife, Lexi. 
Letting the days go by. Let the water hold me down. Letting the days go by. But a blowing underground. Into the blue again. Out of the mud is gone. Once in a lifetime. Water blowing underground. Same, Same as, as it ever was. Same, Same as, as it ever was. Same 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 as it ever was. Pixel Friend says Monday Mondays are the best. We are here to groove you through this evening with happiness and light and laughter and maybe some sadness too. We're gonna talk about our demons later and it'll be interesting. I want to. I want to. I do want to find out them. what you're saddest about. Oh, I'm moving it. There is water, water at the bottom, bottom of the ocean. One to the water. Carry, carry the water. water at the bottom of the, of the ocean. ocean. Move, 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 move. <laughs> go by. Let, Let the water hold me down. Let the days go by. Water flowing underground. Into the blue again. After the money's gone. gone. Once in a lifetime, water flowing underground. The blue again, into the silent water, under the rocks and stones. There is water underground. And the days go by, into the silent water. Once in a lifetime, water flowing underground. Ask yourself, Self, what is this beautiful house? And you may ask yourself, where does that highway go to? You may ask yourself, Am I right? Am I wrong? And you may you ask yourself, my God, what have, what have I, I done? done? Letting the days go by. Let the water <laughs> hold me down. Letting the days go by. Water flowing underground. Letting the blue again. After the money's gone. Once in a lifetime. Water flowing underground. Into the blue again. Into the silent water. Under the rocks and stones. There is water underground. And in the days go by. Into the silent water. Once in a lifetime. Water flowing underground. Same as it ever was. All right. Same as it ever was. I don't think we're going to do the entire five was. minute song. Same That's as good, it though. ever was. Fantastic stuff. Uh, do we That's immediately fine. go into. Do we just finish out? Yeah, sure. Why don't we take a can second? I, Should we make I, drinks? Should we make a round before we do this before next? We do what were you going to say? Can I, can I kick off the Fred in the beginning of this next one? Uh, for fucking right. tootly, so, Jeff. Why don't we make a round of drinks? We'll show yeah. them how to make the drinks one more time. Uh, <laughs> and then we will... We're going to show you how to do it. That's we're going to show you how to do it. That is why we're going to do it, okay? So skip. Don't do step five. <laughs> don't do step five yet, okay? you got to wrap it around. Today we're making the Summer Manhattan. It's going to be Rye Dubonnet Rouge, Reagan's Number no. Six Orange Bitters, for the three ingredients. This is a simple drink. Step one: two parts rye. Step one is two parts rye. Here we go. We have the table cam here. This is uh, this is another drink made by where I did uh, the uh, the Smoky Manhattan we did there once, and I mentioned uh, we did here once, and uh, they make this. At the same bar, it's a travel bar in New York. I brought it up a couple times. India, if you're still there. Yeah, you're, you're still there. Uh, did I mention <laughs> that? I saw you're not that far behind me. Yeah, so. I love you. I love there. you as a, I love you as a host. You're still there. Jeff, your hosting skills sometimes. You. Jeff, you're still there. You're fucking, you're still there. Uh, <laughs> no, this is because uh, I told you that I go to uh, travel bar. Ah, so. yes, absolutely. All right. Oh, um, and Lexi's now here. Hey. Lexi break, everybody. Lexi changed multiple times. Lexi decided not to wear what she was wearing. Right. Changed her. Lexi, do you, have you had your drink yet? I have not. Okay, so should I mail it? didn't feel comfortable. I felt bad. Oh, right, oh, please. Yeah. The love of the we've Lord all, with you. Been there. Well, then I'll make, okay. should I just make the, then enough for the, the three of us for now then? Yeah, that's or is great. that okay? Or, yeah, okay. yeah. Because yeah. so. yeah, she I'll already has I'll hers in the freezer, round, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to do better on this one and not spill as much everywhere. Win! I'll just Sorry. say, I'll just scream win when it's time. Process, I'm going to uh, okay, knock over okay. the microphone. <laughs> that microphone. That microphone's okay. bad. So I'll say win anytime. Win. Okay. Um, <laughs> and win. Okay, Good that's teamwork. three. And win. Four. And you have two more, right? Yeah. Win! <laughs> 
think you called it a little soon there. I did call it a little soon there. I was, got wind happy. <laughs> wind. <laughs> then I called a little late. Well, Damn it. I was explaining. Uh, this is a portion uh, called painting with oh, wait, booze. Is that the, uh, this oh, is painting with alcohol. We're yeah. using, alcohol using alcohol to paint paints. We're going to do a little experiment. Lowe's in the here. chat for Lexi. Everyone's so excited to see her again. Lowe's in the chat there. Step two, one part Dubonnet Rouge. So we'll do three shots of this. One part Dubonnet Rouge. Oh, this, right? So it's going to be three parts. Two. And then for our final one, uh, what is it again? Orange bitters, right? Orange bitters. Don't be bitter. Have an orange bitter. Clean up your life a little bit. I would like for everybody to write in uh, chat how they wish to best clean up their life at this moment. Just write in chat if you have yearnings, you know what I'm saying? And if you need help, just write help in chat. So just okay. write help in chat if you need help. Uh, no one will actually respond to that, but it'll just be nice to maybe say it out loud. Sometimes you got to put out in the universe to get it. You know what I mean? Get over my ex. Oh, I hear you, Mr. Butts. Hey, that's, that takes some time sometimes. I don't know how long you were together, but it can take months. Mops, lots of mops, absolutely. Mr. Butts was four Mama shots says, in. says, no thank you. I believe, uh, <laughs> I believe um, Mr. Shots, are you probably five shots in by now? Please help me. Get a better job, Mr. says Mr. Cuts. Cuts. Just put it out in the universe. We're just yeah. putting it out. This is like a, a fountain of youth. This is like a wishing this is fountain. A stirring cocktail this is motion. like throwing a coin into a fountain right now. Two years, three months. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's going to take a while. It's going to take like six months to get over. These are the kind of questions we sometimes we go a little dark here. If so, I get this promotion, then boom, more money but less time to be self destructive. There you go, India. Yeah. So there you go. Hey, it's, this is like putting a coin into a fountain right now, Jeff. It's not, um, I, I cannot help these people, <laughs> but you can at least put it out there. Oh, and no. the more you put it out there, the more you figure out how to fix it. I like to think help me, please. Cool. Get over X. Need to stop checking social media and let go. <laughs> I, like to think I say, like the local write it all down. Oh. Yeah, get I would say with brain. social media, Journal I think the best thing. The, don't. Well, the best thing you can do for yourself with that, because I've been there, Cordo, sometimes you got to bite the bullet and just block them. Yeah. At least for now. Just block them. Just block them. You won't. They won't show up in your feed. Just block them. And no, do not look at their shit. Well, if you block them, you won't look at their shit. And they might see that you blocked them, but you know what? To hell with it. That's fine. They, they, it doesn't they, even have to be an offense. That's just even if they, yeah, yeah, if they ask you, just be like, I can't get over you unless I block you. What are we drinking, Lizard Man? We are having... A mother, we're about to cheers to Carly for her birthday, but we are having the summer Manhattan, and it's absolutely delicious. It is. It's a little too delicious. Easy. Yeah. But this is the problem with cocktails; they're too tasty, too and I get easy. hammered every single time. Every Manhattan variation, I feel like a sixty percent of the time it works every time. Oh, with your chilled drink. Look at you. Everyone is so excited that you're back on the stream, Lex. So great. Here, I'm gonna put this mic kind of out for everybody to talk into because I boosted it, and yeah. um, I'm gonna keep mine kind of away from me. More happy birthdays! Cheers Emma. to Carly! Thank Hell yeah! Cheers, Cheers to Carly for the birthday! Thank to for Father's Day too. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I would say, I would say, Jeff, scooch all three of you, scooch over mm. a little bit. All three of you, scooch over a little bit, and Carly mm. as well. Scooch. Get in there. Go. It's kind of like half yeah. of your face. Hey, I know, but I don't want to black. No, nice. you don't want to black. Wow, Carly, I can't believe you would say something like that. Lexi, <laughs> um, okay. making fun of my accent all the time. Um, I want you to have a birthday every two weeks, Carly. Yeah, yeah. this oh, is right? so it's much right? fun. Yeah, yeah. This why don't we just so much fun. Oh, need, you know, I need a, more crossovers a in the future. And it's right? time to paint. Oh, yes. It is oh, time for us to paint. Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna make a. We're gonna make like a painting. Oh wait, we haven't done that. We didn't. Oh, yeah, B-52s. Yeah. That's true. Well, All right, we'll do the B-52s, and then we'll paint, okay? okay. All and right. Cool. And even if somebody donates something, we'll, we're, we're going to put on hold after that. While, just so we can do some painting. Just get a little Thank painting done. Well, we do have another face. song after that, but we will we will wait for that right. one. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to get up Jeff. here, buddy. You got to get up here. It's no. coming. It's coming. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 50. Miles to the Love Shack! Love Shack, yeah, yeah. Have a good one, Momo. I'm headed down the Atlanta Highway. I'm looking for the love getaway. Hey, I'm for oh, the love getaway. 
I got me a car, it's as big as a whale, and we're heading on down to the love shack. I got me a Chrysler, it seats about 20, so hurry up and bring your jukebox money! To the love shack, it's a little old place where we can get together! Love shack, baby! Love shack, baby. Love shack, baby, love shack. Love shack, baby, love shack. Love, baby, love shack. Love shack, baby, love shack. Sign says, stay away, fools, cause love rolls up the love shack. Well, it's set way back in the middle of a field, just a funky old shack, and I gotta get back. Glitter on the mattress, glitter on the highway, glitter on the front porch, glitter on the highway. Cause the love shack is a little old place where we can get together. Love shack, baby. Love shack. Baby. Love Shack, that's where it's at. Love Shack, that's where it's at. Hugging and a kissing, dancing and a loving, wearing next to nothing, cause it's hot as an oven. Ooh. The whole shack shimmies. <laughs> the whole shack shimmies. <laughs> the whole shack shimmies when everybody's moving. Around and around and around and around. <laughs> and everybody's moving, everybody's grooving, baby. Signing up outside just to get down. <laughs> <laughs> Funky little shack. Funky little shack. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. You know, it's no, not a party until real. something this breaks. Real no, life. we're still going. It's yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, Hop in my Chrysler. It's as big as a whale, and it's about to set sail. Bring it back up. Yeah. <laughs> I got me a car. It seats about 20, so come on and bring your jukebox money. To the love shack is a little old place where we can get together. Love Shack, baby. Love Shack. Oh, no, it's the other one. Oh, Love Shack, baby, Love Shack. Oh, Love Shack, baby, Love Shack. Love Shack, baby, Love Shack. And there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> shoes off here. Yeah, we all right take our shoes off. Shoes on. All shoes I'm okay. Together. No, I'm okay. just not going to walk anywhere. <laughs> Oh, bang, bang, bang oh, on weird. the door, baby. This is your birthday when you don't have to clean I'm up. Not gonna lunch, bang. baby. Bang, bang, bang on the door, baby. I can't hear you. Bang, bang, bang on the door, baby. I'm not gonna louder, sugar. Bang, bang, bang on the door, baby. I can't hear you. Bang, bang, bang on the door, baby. Bang, bang, bang <laughs> on the door, baby. Bang, bang. On the door, baby. Bang, bang. On the door. Bang, bang. On the door, baby. Bang, bang. Your what? Tell me about Love Shack, baby, love Shack. A oh, love Shack, no, baby, baby, love Shack. Love Shack, baby, love Shack. Love Shack, baby, love Shack. 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 You know, I broke one of the. It the, came true. The, yeah, the yeah, house yeah, was yeah. shaking and everyone was yeah, moving. Yeah, it was so yeah. authentic. Life um, yeah, was taken yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm horribly sorry. I feel better the fact that I, I knew mean, that I actually bought okay. those cheap little tumblers. So at least <laughs> it wasn't like some nice. 
<laughs> like awesome okay. piece of glassware. No, you're fine, but just watch your feet, ladies. Watch your feet. All right. I may need. I'm a, not cleaning another, anything. Uh, I need a re- may need a refresher. Is this mine actually? Uh, I don't know. You take it. I'll just make a refresher. Sure. Off. You can keep things going and sure. just clean liquids. Like it's because I'm barefoot. Let me uh, do a quick sweep of my flashlight here to see what. Uh, Guys, we can turn so the lights on. All right, here we go. We made it. We're good. Fantastic. Let's now begin the crafting part of the stream. Oh, this is the weird inception crafting. part of the stream. Crafting. Oh wait, you know what? Is this water down here, or is this like some of the drinks still? I should probably mop it up. And probably get oh, it's either way. We can clean it later or whatever. Oh, whatever you want to do. There might be some fancy God's sake going in that direction. I'll put my shoes back on. They're just over there. Um, oh, you're fine, oh yeah. Oh right! I got those. I'm kind of. I got these other watercolors. I know how they're. Ooh, okay. Got some little shimmery ones. All right. Everyone, put their shoes on in chat. Holden right. is used to strange puddles on the floor. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, okay, now we're going to do some actual crafting in the stream, chatting about our lives. Here you go. You can use this one because you liked it a lot, right? I liked it a lot. There you go. It's my preferred method. Okay, I don't Please don't even worry about it too much. Right. Watercolors, this will be fun. We have to clean. We have to do a deep clean in this morning. While you guys are starting off, I'll make another insertion. Please. All right, and then also. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. There, no. The yeah. The flamingo cup is for paint, not for drinking. Yes, flamingo cup is water. I'm not gonna do that. Do not, yeah, do not accidentally drink the paint. It's, it's a k k crossover. That's awesome. right, Robo Key. It's time to actually get some painting. Well, thanks for being dune. here, everybody. Yes, I'm absolutely. Being so much fun. Absolutely. I hope it sounds okay. Let me know if it does. not I have a feeling it's like exactly. echoey and weird. Yes, yeah, so we're doing some watercolors. Yes. I have this nifty little watercolor pen, which I love. It's fantastic. Thank you, Carly, for letting me use it on yeah, your yeah. birthday. It's all good. Man. Um. You what are you fill thinking? It with water, so then you can just like drip it in there. You don't have to go crazy bananas. Um, well, do we want to do a theme? Or do we, how are we feeling? I mean, is it spooky? I mean, it's spooky it in spooky? some way. Okay. Does anybody want to give us some kind of a concept to paint I off do of? Like some kind of a theme? Watercolors, especially. Absolutely. Because it's. I don't I'm gonna know. just start. I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna let the theme imply oh, open see. itself up to me. Could never get into the pens. I like these pens, man. I like man. them. Pens made me like watercolor. I didn't like watercolor until I was. I was going to ask you about that. Those are water. Yeah, well, they have water, water in them. So you just squeeze them and water comes out. That's right. Thanks. Oh, am I? I'm sorry. I'm really bad at, at wiggling. All right. I'm going to get better at it. More of you, less of, of me. I completely understand this situation. Um, Okay, I don't know if jazz... Deepest fears. Jazz. Mm. Should we switch it up to give yeah. it a little bit of some clicky yeah. cluckies? Yeah, this is, this is very... Deepest fears. Calming. Deepest fears. Hmm. I had a very strong... I'll think of that. I'm wondering... Dreamers. Yes. All right. Okay. Oh, she likes getting back. Absolutely. Definitely draw your deepest fear. What is my Lexi, deepest? There's paper for you too. You're playing along, right? Oh, she's, oh, okay. well, then, yeah. she's just having, a, having dinner. It's, a, it's all good. It's all good. No rush. That's no better. Um, I do wonder. What is deepest fear, though, is my conundrum. What brand of painting you guys working with? Good question. Uh, this is this kit called Gonzai Is there anything okay. It's all very it's Asian. Talky. Does most paint it's come ja- from Asia? This is Japanese. J- or Japan, rather. Um, but this is, yeah, the Gonzai Tambe set. And I think it's like G-A-N-S-A-I. It's on the cover. I'll show you later. Is my deepest um, fear failure? Is it like a concept like that? Is it like my deepest fear is probably like uh, something very tragic and sad happening in my life. You know what I mean? For, for, for the people just joining us, and yeah. so not me because I wasn't listening at all to anything you were saying. But let's, let's go now. We are painting. <laughs> we are painting our deepest fear, uh, whatever it may be. Um, and I'm trying to, to 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 connect to that. I would say you know you can let that be loose. That doesn't have to actually be your deepest fear because Jeffrey, I mean, it's probably very sad about your daughters. 
We don't really need to go there. You, know you can I mean? explore those feelings. You can explore yeah, whatever feelings you want to explore. I don't want to exploring explore. any. So I only want to be exploring certain my feelings. My first thought was like, it's like if you go to my deepest fear when I was a child, which were tornadoes. Yes. Yeah. I love it. That's a good one. But maybe a tornado taking my daughter's <laughs> Yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah, uh, get it out of your system. So You'll you feel better. I have a picture of my daughter being swept up by a tornado. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Draw Lexi leaving you. <laughs> um, oh, no, no, no. No, so but can, like, it's look, good you to can ask. Take this and squeeze. What color are you thinking of using? Um, I don't know. See, it's starting to uh, I don't. I can't so, see it. We might have to turn the lights on. Oh, wait, you know, black and. Okay, cool. Sorry. All right, so if you squeeze this, it's going to put water out. And the more water you add, the more, like, fluid it's going to be, gotcha. okay. but, so you can be really stingy and get like kind of pasty. Mm -hmm. That's what I like, or I've been enjoying. I'm yeah, not- You know what, Jeff? I think you and I may switch, because I'm very loud, and you were less loud. So I well, think it would I actually be- that much. I'll probably be- in, Are you sure? Yeah, People I'm, want I'm, to I'm, hear you. I think this is going to be- Well, I'll, I'll speak louder. I'll make a conscious effort to speak louder when I'm talking here. Okay. So, and I'll turn the music I'm down a little bit. Mostly, Let me turn the music down in, uh, on the stream. I keep changing my idea of Picture what of my Henry deepest on my fear face. is. Terrifying. That's the thing. I can't sit here and tell you my deepest fear. I don't think I could tell you my deepest fear at this moment. I think I would have to do a lot of introspection to be able to tell you that. Is what I think. Rebecca Key says Carly is a good art teacher. I agree. Aww. I've learned a lot in this time about well, what's arting. what's kind of funny is that like this is all so casual because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just like to experiment and figure out what I discover. And if you make a mistake, then you might learn something new. So that's kind of... It's a fun thing to do with your friends. Uh, somebody asked what kind of paper this was. Sorry. And this is just a, it's a water block, but I um, Your pushers in a little more. We talked a little bit about blocks, but why I like them is that they're all sealed around the edges and it holds your paper down so it doesn't curl. Or slide yours in a little more. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I've painted it with water thus far. I, and I, that's something I tend to do. And I don't know what I want to. being dropped on NYC would be scary. I I forget to clean these off the best way just, just, just I mean to you can squirt it. some water with them too. Like just you know. squirt some water out of it. Yeah, don't worry about it so much. Yeah. Okay. I know you're always like, just don't even but I'm like, I don't know, but like what's the way to do it? You know? Yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna A lot of times at least with this stream what's interesting because this isn't how I personally will make things at home. Like right. ready, set, go. But I'll I'll often start painting in white or in this case I just went over it with water because my mind changed. Oh, <laughs> what kind of paper? Yeah, um, it's from a watercolor block. It's Blick. Um, it's hot pressed. I think it is like 140. If I'm, I don't know, something like that. It's not super heavy, but it's pretty decent. And I uh, got it specifically because up until very recently, I used to work there. Hmm. So I bought a lot of things at work. That was cool because I got to learn about it. All right. And we will be selling these paintings as well. Uh, I believe it's 20 bucks a pop. If you would like to go ahead and claim a painting, just toss in a donation in the info section and you can have one. Usually whatever Carly paints looks amazing, so if you want to go ahead and just try to call oh, dibs on what she's doing. I'm just saying, it's usually pretty good. And even if it's I'm garbage, it's her birthday, you fucking monsters. Oh my God. So just Don't for a moment, can you... Knock that off. <laughs> You, you animals! Oh my god, I keep forgetting I have this delicious drink here, too. Oh this god. is so oh good. Oh my god, don't forget the drink. Oh. It's so yummy. Blick Hot Pressed 140. Got it. I think it's 140. I'll have to check 140. Carly, love the nail color. What is it? I gotta start doing my nails again when I'm not ob working, obviously. Lol. Thank you. I rarely paint my nails because I usually break them. Are and you like, uh, do you like kind of pick the paint off your nails? Are you one of those no, people? I just did a, I did kind of a lousy job, honestly, but it was good enough. And after you spend that long doing it, it's like, it's fine. I don't really, I don't get my nails done. It's a nice, it was actually a very strange experience because I was watching Handmaid's Tale and watching Handmaid's Tale, how you paint your nails, which is just kind of this contradictory, uh, uh -huh. 
feeling going yeah. on where you're like, oh, look at me doing this classic, you know, womanly thing. I, I don't know. It was it was odd. <laughs> it's a very it's a show about a lot of something. <laughs> <sunlight. laughs> Paint I'm just yeah, gonna go with. It. I'm just gonna go with the fear oh, yeah. dying alone. I'm just gonna go with dying alone as my theme. Mine is kind of in one that, uh, right? Oh, well, a tornado hey. taking your daughters away would probably end up with you dying alone because Lindsay would definitely leave your ass if you couldn't protect your daughters from a simple tornado, Jeff. Well, I, I, I've abandoned the tornado. I'm not going. That was a that was a childhood thing. So. <laughs> Ooh, you know what would be a good one? It's not a worst not. fear, but waking up during surgery. That would be a good one. Lexi, are you, do you going to uh, do your greatest fear as well? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see this. I'll, I'll be thinking about my greatest fear while I do this um, abstract. I've got a good fear, I think, that would be your greatest fear. You want me to tell it to you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, a puppy and a baby just flying towards each other at an intense speed to the point when they hit each other, they just s explode upon impact, and you're just there to see it. It's your two favorite things just exploding in front of you. I know. I've woken up during surgery before. DM, uh, DM Ryan V, tell me exactly what the fuck that was like. Let's boil it down to Loss. Probably my greatest. Right, a loss of people. Don't worry, baby. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> For that, you'd be like, yay! And I'd be like, sweet, dear lord, the torture is relieved. I am a dead man now. <laughs> Puppy and the baby fuse like a Digimon? What if they fuse like a Digimon, Lex? That would be excellent. That would be like Bill and Ted levels of excellent. Yeah, give us the story, DM Ryan V. I want to hear it. Um, all right. I'm liking this. What my colors I'm getting here. I'm liking what I'm what I'm pulling here. For sure. I feel like it's good to go for stuff, you know. Like, just get, whatever, if that's what you're feeling. If you're feeling like that, then just do that. I think that's the best way to approach it. It's like, it's not about creating a thing. I feel like it's impossible to be like, this, I want to create a thing, and then create, I mean, of course, that's obviously what a lot of artists do when they're trying to create, like, real life art. But, like, if you're just trying to express yourself, I think you need to go into it just being like, I want to be surprised by the results. I want to know, actually, like, some questions for Carly, actually, about, uh, uh, Try to speak up. Uh, if um, when you like hit a point, like say, so I'm sure you get like points where you're like, where you, you're, I know what I want to create here, and I and I kind of have like a little start here, and then I'm, I'm like, I don't know where to take this now. I'm worried if I take this in the wrong direction, then I might kind of screw up the stuff that I've already done. How yeah. Do you, how do you fight through that? Well, that's a great question. That. So can you repeat yeah. the question just in case people couldn't hear yeah, Jeff? I but said, I think they can hear Jeff. Yeah, I said here, I'll, I'll say it louder. I said that. Like, <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Charlie looks like a say, phoenix a breaking break. a wall to get a, to a sun, in my opinion. Wow, it's amazing. Now, what were you saying? Scream it louder, please. <laughs> no, I'll let you. I'll let you translate, actually. Yeah, right. I don't that's, that's I don't okay. Yell in your ears. So, what did you um, ask? So, if you like, what do you do when if you're working on something and you kind of hit a wall, but you're kind, but you're fond of what you've already done, and you don't want to fuck that up, but should you move further? And I think. Um, at least me personally, I've done both. And the thing is, it's kind of okay to fuck up. Yes. You can. You don't have to. You don't have to get it right. I think every the, time the I've Bob liked. Ross thing, right? it's like there's no happy I think accents. the only happy accents. I, mean, I think every time I have, um, <laughs> just like I love in the fighting game community, there's no dropped combos, only happy resets, which is also another thing <laughs> I like to go with. But uh, in this situation. And rage resets. I think every painting that has turned out a way that I liked it, it's because something didn't go the way I thought it was going to go, and I ended up really enjoying the results. Uh, all right, DM Ryan V. It was oral surgery, so it wasn't like in my guts or whatever, but I woke up when they were pulling in a series of stitches in my mouth. Wow. I opened my eyes and was blinded by the operation light. Everything was orange, and since they had their hands and tools in my mouth, 
I couldn't speak, so I just started groaning and trying to move like a damn zombie. Then they finished up after that. I stood up and nearly collapsed. It was fun. Oh, my gosh. Shoo. Woo. That sounds tough, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, now, that that being said, Jeff, not to go just back to that, but um, yeah. I have, with doing collages, I have fucked up a collage, and I've gotten angry about it because yeah. I was trying to use this different glue, and it didn't work, and I, was, I liked it. And then I ruined it because it got all bubbly. Right. Um, anyway, I learned to never use that glue again. Nice. <laughs> like, yeah. you make you, you can make a sacrifice of something, and, uh, you know, I think the more important thing is just continuing to do it mm-hmm. and don't let – because if you just let that feeling take over, you're going to be stagnant, and it's going to just weigh down. Make something, I, make yeah. something shitty. Go ahead. Like, who cares? I was interested because, I mean, I've done, so, I've done, like, writing before. Holden obviously has done lots of writing. And, so, and sometimes, you know, you, you take it a step with, with that. You can, like, you can rewrite it. You can, just, you can delete. You yeah. Can, you can paste things around. Suddenly something becomes something different from what you originally thought it was. And you're like, oh, this is better now. And there's that. But it's something like this, something, like, really candid. You're not using erasers or... Or something. I think that's it's why like, a lot of people. Forward, they're, they're, this, this is much more like. I think that's why a lot of people happily moved over to digital yeah. design, because with digital design, obviously, if you fuck up something, you can just yeah, fix it. You can just change it back to what you wanted. You know. Yeah. But here you got the permanence. But I think for me, art is a process and not a product. Mm-hmm. So for me, I really enjoy. Uh, everything. Oh, thank it, you, Cam, against for posting Carly's website with her art and everything. Aww. It definitely makes it exciting. Thank you. Know? you. Hi, for Kimmy. sure. I mean, sometimes shit happens, you know, just like in life. Some dude comes up to you, smacks your ass, and it's like, hey, I want to I wanna have a fucking summer jamboree with your family members. Sometimes you can say, you know what, you fucked up, but sometimes you can go with it and see <laughs> if that dude actually does want to have some sort of sexual... Uh, excitement with members what? of your family. I'm just saying, you what? can go with life or you can hold life yeah, back. Like when you get, you know, you find like a whole new thing. It's like, this is a whole facet of my life that I didn't know was like available. I didn't know I wanted and, this uh, stranger to have weird you know, sexual relationships with members of my yeah, family, but now I'm this, glad I went with it. This, you know, Great 300 example. pound man Great is like example. tearing me apart and you know what, God damn it, I'm tearing you apart, Lisa. Happy birthday, birthday from Cam Against, by the way, who also shared, yeah. I believe, your birthday has the same birthday. birthday. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm liking this purple. Do you see this, Lexi? Ooh, that's really pretty. Thank you. It's Lexi's favorite color, and she's my greatest fear, so that's why I'm painting with this. (laughs) I'm more scared of Lexi than I think I am of any individual, and that includes, like, scary (laughs) murderers. Hey, unicorns for all. Family sexual tryst. We all make mistakes. Absolutely. Thank you for the bits, buddy. You're going to have her on the podcast and get weird? Absolutely. When, oh, oh, for mommy? Yes, absolutely. I will have my mother on it. never. I couldn't oh imagine God. having my oh actual real-life mother on any podcast ever. Well, maybe a sweet one. You know? Maybe something sweet. I've been debating. My mom likes to know everything that I'm into, too, and I haven't really told her much about this because she will get in the chat. And, yeah. yeah. It it's, will happen. Yeah. It like, will I'm, not, I'm not ready for that, Mom. Yeah, I would say I'd have her on Witch of the Bruiser to talk about like a thing she's a big fan of, but I don't think she is a big fan of anything. Barbara Streisand episode, maybe? Or a, a social work episode. Maybe if that happens. Get Jeff's mom in chat, 2018. It's a new <laughs> hashtag. Lexi is a serial killer and Holden is her latest victim. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry this taking me so long to be actually on one of these. This is actually, I love this. Right? This I'm, I'm, really, I'm really having a lot of fun with this. Right? Well, we always do the crafting. Whenever we yeah. we did the crossover once before, we did the crafting before you got here. Right. So. Sorry. Let's change yeah. it. You were fine. You were fine. Also, once again, if you would like to purchase one of these paintings, you can go ahead and call dibs on them now. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess that's all I have to say about that. If someone wants to post the donation link, also, we will do... 
more karaoke, more dance-offs, all of it this evening for those sweet, sweet incentives. Let Carly buy the thing she loves to buy every single birthday, and that is a Tiffany necklace. Oh my God. And she can only do it with your donations. So I don't need So just... did I say again that uh, <laughs> they got me a Magic 8-Ball and yes. some Silly Putty? Yes. And that... That's By how they, you know people you like, you tell how, know you so uh, well. I was going to give you some of the, you know, well, just I like did the, ask her, the familial I said, credit. I did say, hey, go get her Hut. a trinket or two. Hi, go and get she... her a trinket or two. <laughs> Hi, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> and hold, I was like trying to very discreetly show Holden. Okay, I will say this though. You were very <laughs> discreetly was, showing me the party funny. favor she got for Lexi, or for Carly, in front of Carly. So very at discreetly. the end of the day, why didn't you just say, let's go into the bedroom, I got something to show you? It's fine. I... <laughs> that sounds creepy. Yeah, I, I was like, what the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> also, um, do you mind, Jeff, do you mind moving over a little bit so that Lexi oh, can be a little in frame? Because oh, I, I feel don't like care. people miss her. And what I know you don't care, but people want to see you. Hi, her. friends. I also boosted this microphone up and put it past me so you guys can talk and they can hear you better, okay? Because I'm the loudest person ever, so I'll just appear. Yeah, it's kind of fun painting in the dark, I will say, also. Right? I don't think painting I've ever done Painting in it. the dark. Uh, it's it's always, always a lot. Painting in the dark with Carly. Yeah. Oh, God. Painter in the dark. Oh, wow. We'll do like a Bjork no, parody. Wow. And then it's sad at we the end. We live on the mountains. On the mountains. And then she dies on no, death row. Then she gets hung. What? Nothing. No. I still want to see that movie. No, it never happened. Oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> that movie's been out for decades. Um, oh, it yeah, works so it. good! That looks awesome. <laughs> it works so good. Show them what you got so far. <laughs> what is your... I'm so happy. Is Painter in the Dark one of the games <laughs> Mommy showed you all? Absolutely. That's, that's so awesome. That's awesome. So again, I just love when drips are your friends. If you'd like to purchase Carly's painting, it is $20. Oh. I'll mail it out free of postage. Yes, that's awesome. I'll take care of the postage. Just got to give me your address and just claim the painting the you want in chat if you want it. Okay. Purple was here, right there. Already is a little wet, so it should be all right. Yeah, well, that Lars von Trier, it gets a little dark, you know? It gets a little dark. Hell, and I went to Brooklyn Star for dinner a while ago. After you recommended it, food was great. Thank you, Mr. Butts. It's a good meal. It's a tasty place. It's good-ass food. But you know what? I'm out here in Astoria. I got different food I eat. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do, but it's good shit. Yeah, good food. Carly loves it. She can't get out of George. Like, give me that food! Give it up, She's a man, baby! Please. Carly made it a bit more evil if possible, please. Make it a bit more evil if possible, please. If not, it's okay. I'll treasure it anyway. India just donated for your painting. India. Thank it's you so much. It's going there. India. We're, we're just. We're we're so also, starting. Hey, Jeff, can you I just mean, show off what you're working on? Because I feel like yours scary. is also so much to be desired if people could just see it. Can you show it? I want to see it. If you would I'm like, if you would like to obtain Jeff's painting, it is also up for grabs. So there you go. That is looking nice. rad as fuck. So if you want to get Look that one, just you. claim it in chat. 20 bucks on the donations. I will mail them out personally. Here you go, buddy. That looks great. And uh, Lexi's is just like a lovely abstract color this, palette piece. Oh, no, it's a, the sun is setting and there's oh, ocean. Oh, I love yeah. it. Thank you. And that yeah, once you get a little further, why well, we, uh, we'll show yours off as well. I'm yeah. like where you're at. I'm kind of still ambiguous. Probably looks like she's painting Holden's lizard for him. What did she do again to get the destinance and dance in the dark, please? We don't need to talk uh, about what? <laughs> I mean, is it spoiling it, Lex? It's yeah, been out for so that. many years. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm sorry. I'm going to pull that, too. Because <laughs> I, I would be like, spoiler! It's but been it's out, been out I for so long. I watched it in high school. You can't, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I watched it in high school. <laughs> sorry. I will say, that movie has... I a, give it to you. That movie, I love that movie, and I do think it's very tragic, but that movie has an extraneous extra beat where she almost gets off the death sentence. 
because of the lawyer, but then it just gets reversed and she still has to get killed. And it makes the movie it makes the movie just a little too long and it undercuts the tragedy just a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? I felt that was the only thing. That was the only thing I didn't like about that movie. That's cool. We'll watch it though, Lex. I love that movie. That movie does the thing I love, which is take a modern day like story and every now and again they break into old timey musicals. So I love that. I watched La La Land again the other day, and I, I do still enjoy that movie. I have not seen it, and I don't think I really want to. I loved it. Didn't you tell, weren't you someone who told me I wasn't going to really enjoy it? Isn't it too cute? Maybe, yeah, it might be too cute. I think it's too cute for a lot of people. I think people just don't want it right I now. I like some cute stuff. I think you might enjoy it. What I liked it was actually dealt with, like, like it dealt with the trials and tribulations of trying to be a performer, like, in the business very well, I felt. You know what I mean? I think the I think the annoying thing about it is that you just want them to be stronger singers and they're not. Oh really? Yeah, because you want them to like belt out these songs and there's not enough songs, you know. It's true. I'll, at the end of the day, I'll take Sing Street over La La Land any fucking day of the week. Watch Sing Street. I tell everybody to watch it. It's free on Netflix and no one watches it. And then I die. No and then I hurt and I pain. No one listens to me. And no, everyone no picks on me and is mean. And you're so mean, and it's your birthday, so and I'm like, mean. I want to do something nice. And you were like, I don't like I it. I hate it. When the camera's not on Carly, when the camera's not on Lexi, Jeff's cool. But when the camera's not on these two women, oh my they God. are vipers. Vicious. Vicious shark Vicious women. Vicious trolls. Teeth women with sharp teeth and teeth scary, women. like scary teeth. Why See? did you paint a picture of oh, it? All right. What scares you most? My greatest fear being fucking surrounded Where by. The fuck did I... Thank you, Pixel friend. Sing Street is awesome. La La Land in the dark. I think I didn't trust myself when I said they added some shit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I, like I think it still looks good though. Yeah, I don't think you fucked it up. Yeah. I'll tell you when you fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, everybody watch Sing Street like right now. It's so good. You'll love it, Carly. It's, it's about a, it's about like a high school band in Scotland Ireland. or Ireland rather, and it's like a guy forms a band because he likes a girl, and she's like, "Oh, I'm a model," and he's like, "Oh, you should be in my music video," and then he kind of turns around and is like, "Man, baby, big boy Laboyge, thank you for these seven months, buddy, living it and loving it," and she's like, um. You know, and, and she's like, I'm a model. He's like, want to be in my music video? And she's like, yeah, sure, fine, I guess. And then he turns around and he's like, all right, we got to form a band so that I can put this woman, this this girl in this music video. Oh, and so he okay. forms so he forms this band and they do the whole high school band thing. And then like, they do scenes of writing songs together better than I've ever seen it. It's so good. It's by the guy who did Once. Um, and it's so awesome. Like it makes me so happy. So yeah, I would I would highly recommend it. Cool. And, and the music in it, there are a lot of songs. They're very good. <laughs> They're of the time too. They're very. It's very like '80s new wave style. The setting is like '80s, mm -hmm. so it's '80s new wave style. The songs are amazing, mm -hmm. and it's the kind of musical I really love. That's like different from what the other kind of musical I love. Description where the music is integrated in the movie mm -hmm. and, and like like or in the reality like rather opera. yeah That's where it's like famous. the music is like because the the band is playing music you know what I mean right there um, as opposed to being like kind of out of nowhere you know that one movie is great and it's a great soundtrack it's Train Spotting I will 100% agree with you on that hey if I'm asking that we have a thing in common we both like Train Spotting <laughs> you me and the rest of the planet. My favorite story about trains, but I have a good train spotting story, and I'll tell it as such. Uh, my dad rented it. My dad rented it, and, and even, I have to ask him about this, because this is my memory of this. My dad rents train spotting, and he's like, you can't watch this movie. This is an R-rated movie, and but, it, but it's more than that. It's like a very, you know, you just, you can't watch it. I forbid you to watch it. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, now I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave for like three hours. I got some errands to run. And I was just like, okay. And then he leaves and I just immediately put the fucking tape in. 
But I wonder if he did it on purpose. I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe it was a test and you failed. I miserably. Well, I can see when the garage door opens, so I can, and when the car pulls in from the couch, so I could just, you know, I was just paranoid looking over. I also really like that Ariel Pink song. Another weekend of my life. See where the baby is creepy. I feel like it, that baby scene is creepier to people than it is to me. I think it's fun. Ooh, this song's great too. My painting is is called Dying Alone. Oh yeah, feel free, like grab whatever. It's creepy because of how fake it looks. The baby, right. yeah. I don't mind the English, they're just wankers. We were colonized by wankers, there you go. Shite being Scottish. Shakes out your Scottish. I'm Scotch Irish descent. And I love it. I kind of want to switch with uh, like Lexi or Jeff for a little bit so they can like see you painting your painting. You know what I mean? What? I'm almost done with mine, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I have a lot more to do. I'm not really sure like where I'm this is going, to be honest. Well, I mean, so they can see other people's, like, you know, the way other people do it. seen train spotting too. Have you guys seen train spotting? I really want to see it actually. Has anybody seen it? Chat? Yeah, has anybody uh I probably Final Fantasy King 9. When I was younger and started watching more drug related movies, I decided to grab a few I'd heard of from friends. First two I got and watched back to back was Requiem for Dream, followed by Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Such a wild ride of emotions. That's amazing dude. I would have probably watched Fear and Loathing first and Requiem second, but either way. I went from not wanting to ever try hard drugs to immediately wanting to jump into the deep end. Um, yeah, so my story with that is I saw the trailer for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and it looked insane to me. So I decided, you know what, I think I want to read because I saw that it was based off of a book and I'd never heard of Hunter S. Thompson who would later become one of my favorite authors of all time. I would be obsessed with him all through like his high school and college. So I said, Mom, hey, can we go to Borders? I don't know if you guys remember Borders. It was a CD store slash bookstore. It's like, can we go to Borders? I want to check out this book called Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So we go, to this, we go to the store, and I can't find it anywhere. I'm like looking around for it. I have no idea what section it's in. And so finally my mom's like, let's ask the guy. I, Lexi will test this. I hate asking like for help in a store. Like I like to just, you know. Do your thing. I, I just don't like asking. Yeah, I like to just find stuff myself and whatever. I don't like talking to people in general, in public. They don't like having to ask you either. Necessarily. Yeah, exactly, it's too. I feel like I'm always somebody's fucking burden that. once I do it. Well, it's anyways, it's not a burden. It's anyways, just... Lexi, uh, uh, Lexi, ooh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, my mother, rather, <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, help me. God, help me. I what repent. I repent. Help me, God. I'm going to start another one. Yeah, please. Yeah, please Oh, uh, so show this one off. So this is Jeff's finished painting here. This is being, yeah, this is this is this is being alone, not you know, have, not being able to see really anything that's happening. And Jeff's uh, Jeff's future, painting and being, uh, yeah, like kind of abandoned by everybody who's important to me. Jeff's painting is up for grabs. Yeah, What's the name it. of it, Jeff? Abandonment. Um. I hate naming things. Um. Jeff number one, sprawl number one, sprawl number one. This is up for sale, guys. Twenty dollars. I will mail it to you if you'd like it. Right here, this painting. It looks amazing. Twenty bucks, and people are loving it in chat. If you'd like to claim it, just claim it in your donations. Right there. Here, I'll get you one. Are you sure? Yeah. Of course. Please. She's a man, baby. I claim Jeff. 
India already bought the painting. Oh, Thank you so you much. Much, And Jeff, you've sold art. How does it feel? It feels like a, it feels <laughs> really kind of amazing. <laughs> I know, so right? Much. Isn't it like a great feeling when you're like, holy shit, I sold art. It's so it's such a touching, lovely thing. That's and now this person, India, is going to have your painting in his I life, know. you know, on his shelf somewhere, and people will see it when they come over. This man you've never met before. It's a pretty cool thing. That's people are saying nice like. things about I, it. I, I like it. They really love like, it. Oh, someone bought my art. I mean, if you want India when you're out here, I'll give it yeah, to you personally. You India mean, is a patron of the yeah. art, of the oh, wait, crafting stream. Oh, that was over there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know if that was like. No, it's totally fine. Okay. Cool. I didn't know there was. How is there one ready? Weird. Anyway, anyway, they, they, they both are fine. Oh, so so I'm at the borders, and my mom is like, "Come on, let's just ask somebody where it is." So we go up to somebody, and she goes, "Have you? Uh, we're looking for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. It's by this author, Hunter S. Thompson. She'd never heard of him either." And um, the guy takes me to this section. It was in a separate section. It was it's on its own bookshelf of Hunter Thompson books because of the movie. And. Um, I absolutely cherish my Holden and Carly art in my home. That's so wonderful, Lauren. It's just so nice that anybody su supports us. I mean, this is like a fun thing to do with all y'all, but also with, you know. It, mean, it is meaningful at the it same is. time. It is. It's very funny. meaningful. So, so he takes us to the bookshelf. I pull, I grab the book. I turn around. My mother and this man are standing behind me, right? I, I read the back of the book, and the back of the book, the, the excerpt that's on the back of the book is just the contents of the suitcase. You know what I mean? I almost reached for that. You know, it has a whole lot. I was <laughs> like, oh, it's so the, the back of the book is just the contents of the suitcase, which is just all the crazy amounts of drugs. You know, it's like we had a half salt shaker of cocaine and a blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like uppers, downers, blah, blah, blah. And like all this, you know, sunshine acid. And I read the back of the book. Do uppers, downers, more? screamers, lappers. Are we all gone? I read the back uh, of the book, and I, I looked I mean, up, and I was just like, one, I'll take it. I don't <laughs> And then it blew my mind. And it was the most incredible. It really turned my whole can't shit do around. Water? I don't know. I can't tell. What? If you're I'm just, I'm just, just really happy, drink. and I would yes. like to have another drink. But another the same, drink. Yeah, but at the same time, am I drinking this too quickly? Oh, I, I'm th I don't know. I don't think. How what time is it now? <laughs> it's uh, almost nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. I, I had some noodles. Yeah. <laughs> would you mind? Carly should have another drink, right, everybody? I would like another. It's yeah. her birthday yeah. celebration. Lexi wants another drink. Thank hey, Jeff, too. You. I don't know how how we're doing on it, but I could also use it. Uh, yeah. I'll oh, boy. Every... Oh, boy. Do, uh, oh, another round. I'm gonna do it kind of like uh, back here, and also like. And also, do we really need to go on an, a rye run? Um. Uh, no, we gotta go. Yeah. All right, we should be good. Okay for now. We also have a little. We can. We can. We can maybe uh, open one of those meads for for to share. We got some meads from um, from upstate. We had two. Oh, thank you, MF Dev, for the excerpt. This is the excerpt right here that I read as a child. This is one of my favorite moments from my youth, reading that back of this book and then looking up at my mother and being like, "Yeah, this is the book." <laughs> I had no idea it was a drug movie. Like, I had no idea what it was. And it turned my whole brain onto all of that. The world of psychedelics, the, 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 everything. It was insane. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker, half bottle of cocaine, uh, half a uh, salt shaker full of cocaine, and a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, and also a quart of tequila, a quart of rum, a case of Budweiser, a pint of raw ether, and two dozen amyls. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. I read that expert and I was like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> like, what is this book? And it was, and it, I, I think I had, at, at least at that point in my life, I had read that book faster than any other book I'd ever read, ever. So have you heard of this album, Carly, right here? This, Carly, uh, is an album by this guy who was in a folk duo with this woman who unexpectedly died, and he had a daughter. And this album is uh, uh, essentially this guy just reeling from the death of his wife and just being kind of with his daughter. You need to listen to this album. It's incredible and it's also the saddest thing you will ever hear. Cause yeah. it's literally, it's not even like fully constructed songs. It's just a man like playing music and just rambling about how fucking fucked up he is. It's an incredible album. It came out like two years ago. Oof. 
and it's very good. It's very good. This song is called out. Real Death. Very intentionally. By Mount Erie. Mount Erie. It's very good. Um, I'm, just doing these, I'm just doing these quietly back here. I'm assuming we don't need to look through the steps or anything right now. No, no. I'll tell you what, though. I'll show them the steps here on the side. So what Jeff's making right now is the summer Manhattan. We're going to do two parts rye. We're going to do one part Dubonnet Rouge. We're going to do three dashes Regan's number six orange bitters. We're going to do stir with ice and strain into glass. And then we're going to do Carly a birthday cheers. A happy cheers for Carly. So there you go. The only thing that really worried me was the ether. There is nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And I know we'd get into that rotten stuff pretty soon, probably in the next gas station. Um, the circus circus ether part of, of Fear and Loathing, both in the book and the movie, are truly something to be to behold. Have you heard Hunter S. Thompson's Daily Habits from Waking Up to Bedtime? I have. If you'd like to post them here, you can. I also feel like... He was a man of hyperbole, and I do, I would take those, that routine with a grain of salt. One more time, Holden, I missed the first part. Which part? I bought Irreversible from Borders. I was young. Holy fuck, was I in for a surprise, but damn fucking good movie, absolutely. We do also have another karaoke song to sing at some point. What's the song? I forget. I forget. It was Mexican something. Oh, it's one radio? I, I, Mexican it's radio, radio by Voodoo. What is that? Do you guys know Mexican what that is? Mexican radio. There's a restaurant called Mexican Radio downtown. Oh, neat. Uh, Lexi, would you like to hop out on this right. song? Um, this, this is <laughs> I'm not sure I know. Yes. I'm never uh, sure. It's always I fun know when we don't know the song. song. I don't really it was know it. Oh, know. the recipe. Absolutely, it goes. It's rye, Dubonnet Rouge, Ooh. Reagan's number six, orange bitters. And here are the ingredients. <laughs> two parts, <laughs> you dingus. Uh, two parts rye. One part Dubonnet Rouge. Three dashes Regan's number six orange bitters. Very simple summer drink. Delicious. And it's it getting us crunk. Udi Goose, did you find Dubonnet? It's very easy. You were, uh, you were concerned that you might not find that. I had high hopes because if you found uh, Salerno Blood Orange, I thought that I think it's, that's generally a little bit harder to find than the uh, Dubonnet. So I'm hoping you found it. True that. Oh, what's happening, Lindsay? The lovely wife hey, of Mr. Hey, Jeff. Here she is. Hey, we got to see Jeff Lindsay, sold some art earlier. She's, he's painting right yeah. now. He's painting. I think I'm only going to end up getting through one myself. Look what I made. Hey, India, Lindsay. India bought it. Yeah, and India bought it already. It looks so good, Jeff. I was very excited to have you finally come on and paint something. It's also Carly's birthday stream right now. So we're rocking through it. Do you hate this birthday attention? Or are you enjoying it? Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, did I fuck it up? No, you're fine. Um, it's it's very sweet. I can't help but get a little, a little squeamy. But that's my problem. Oh, good. Udigo's found it. Love and attention okay. shouldn't. Nice. Yeah. Also, if you'd like to make us sing "Happy Birthday" to Carly for a third oh, time, man. five dollars for a birthday donation. If somebody wants to post the incentives up, that'd be awesome. Um. What else is I going to say? Uh, Eddie posted on Instagram recording. Yeah, we have a new roundtable out. Check it out. It's on brighter side for some reason, but we'll hopefully post it on the roundtable feed eventually. That's my commitment. I want to try to get it on the roundtable feed. $5 will sing Happy Birthday to Carly. $10 for a karaoke with Carly. You choose the song. $20 for one of the paintings on screen so far. Carly's painting's been called. Jeff's painting's been called. My painting has not yet been called. It is also unfinished. And uh, Lexi, you want to show off your painting uh, really quick so that they can see if they want to perchance? Per uh, Lexi's is really pretty. I really like it. Uh, Momo's back. I thought bring you it left. up. Bring it up. I thought you left, Momo. Hold on. Let me let me work a little bit more on this, and then we'll. Okay. I'll show Whenever it. you so choose. Lindsay's doing some work tonight while this is going on, so she probably won't be interacting too much. Ooh, this, gotcha. Yeah. Well, it's so nice to see you, Lindsay, and I hope we can hang out really soon because it's been way too long. I get to see your lovely husband every two weeks or so but I never get to see you, so I'd love to see you soon. And have you won cocktails? I'm sure everybody in chat wants to meet the lovely Lindsay. Hell yeah, <laughs> nice to see you too, fucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, we do a cocktail stream from uh, there. Uh, we do a cox cocktail stream from, no, 
from um, sure the their uh, uh, apartment so we can, um, I'm, I said when I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Relax. Well, they want to see it unfinished, so we can see. Okay, fine. Well, if you'd like to call Lexi's, even though she will not show it to you, <laughs> then you can also it's call okay. Lexi's. What well, says Lexi's back? I fucked it up. No, you no. didn't. My hand looks fucked up. No, can we just show? It? Let's just I look. It looks good. Too, but I actually ended up like. It looks good. It's like Curly said. You know, you just keep going. I think it looks good. Yeah, roll with it. Tell him who's boss. Lexi says MF Dev. <laughs> Yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out with us tonight. We're gonna keep this party going. I think we're gonna go a little later tonight. So uh, enjoy the stream. We'll do questions later. We've oh, got yes. some more. Uh, we've got some more um, karaoke to do. We've got some more dancing to do, possibly if people donate for that. Yeah, I'm definitely doing more of the abstract mm. bit. I just love playing with colors in different sort of shapes and settings kind of align next to each other and just kind of discovering stuff with that. I think that makes me that that's what I feel most expressed through and definitely more booze. Are you kidding him up Dev? Definitely more booze. Holy shit. Cause it's Monday and who <laughs> wants to be sober on a Monday, right? Not me. Definitely people in recovery and I support your choice. Thank you for the bits, Timmy A plays. Thank you for the bits. There Gotta go. Here's that, another guys. notice me, Timmy Egg Plays. I have noticed you. Also, check out Timmy Egg Plays. <laughs> He's got a fucking Twitch channel. Check his shit out, man. Cool. OJ, take care and happy birthday. I think he said okay, but he said OJ, OJ. which is making maybe Thank some you. sort of a statement about that murderer. <laughs> Home paints like I would paint, right? I have, I feel liberated painting this way because I feel like I get to paint how what I want. I feel like what I make feels looks good, feels good, and I'm not trying to, like, get some kind of result. You know what I mean? Results are unnecessary. Results are overrated. That's what I say. Go for it. Yeah, refill. Do your thing. Oh, yeah. See? Like, I'm happy with that. Almost done. I'm home now, says Jen. Tell Carly these art streams are getting me back into drawing like I used to. Seriously? Buying so many canvases, sketchbooks. Well, Jen, I'm glad you're home now. That's awesome. That's, well. Wait, I was literally just That's really color. great. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. you okay? I think it sounds like it. She's home now. Nice. That's so weird. I was actually, I was literally just thinking at the, uh, at the, uh, at the stink just now. I was like, I wonder if Jen's doing okay. Yeah, Jen was up in so, that ER earlier. So I'm glad you're home, girl. Glad you're, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. I had uh, emergency surgery uh, a little over a year ago myself. What is it like in hindsight or thinking back on it? I mean, it was, a, I mean, I, I, was in a, I was in tremendous pain. Yeah. Um, but do you feel like you can even remember it accurately at this point, or, or does it feel a little surreal? Yeah, a little bit of both, Yeah. actually. Yeah, I remember my brother had emergency surgery after he broke his fucking back and uh, skiing. And I remember I went on a run, because I didn't know what else to do with myself while it was happening. And I just remember on that run, just trying to focus on running and only thinking about, like, what could possibly go down. You know what I mean? It was very difficult. It was very difficult. Yeah. And I got home and everything was cool and everything's cool now, so it's all good, but it's so scary, man. Well, good to be, like, well, to be grateful on that. Oh, uh, yeah, opening sh shit up is tough. Yeah. Tell Jeff I'm at eight shots now, please. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Butts. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Butts. Mr. Butts, doing it right. <laughs> how Monday needs to go, sir. Absolutely. Carly, do you find yourself sometimes like having an idea for something that you want to do, but then you start doing it and you're like, um, 
This is yes. something else. I'm not sure what the hell it is yet, but I'm kind of liking what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. I'm not sure if this is exactly That's in response to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, neat, yeah. No, I, I mean, nice. I'm done with going abstract for sure. Uh, or just like exploring how the paint likes to move or what the brush likes to do. Like kind of just working with the way it wants Have you ever read Neil Gaiman's go? Sandman? Yes. I, uh, <laughs> not, not that the entire from? thing. I, 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 I did read. I was going to kind of gonna fuck with you and be like, you should do something that looks like that. <laughs> 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 like the most beautiful, like right. yeah. incredible kind of painting, you know, uh, style, like. I think they had some watercolor in that comic, actually. I remember, yeah, I mean, visually, I do remember it. Yeah, it's just like, visually unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are people who are way more skilled at it, necessarily, but I just like exploring how different things behave. Yeah. It's almost like a little bit of a science experiment. Lindsay says, it's um, just an insane thunderclap. Freaked me out. Really? Hmm. Weird. Really, well, she's a, she's uh, she's in uh, out in Brook. We're up here in Astoria. She's in. Oh. But still, that's not that far. Tech, yeah. You know, that's really not that far away. I wonder is there is the storm going to hit us too? You know, what I love about watercolor that I like not having control over is just the the way the color intensifies in certain sections and then and then uh, lightens up and becomes more transparent. And I love that about it actually. Like I like not having the control over that because I find cool stuff in that. Um, but in reference to, like, I think what your question was, I think, yeah. um, is the other day I have these big canvas boards now and I've never had anything really that large. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going to do that big thing. Let's, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. And I have canvas at home, just like raw canvas. And I have lots of glue. <laughs> so I, I wanted to like work with some 3D elements. So I took the canvas and I kind of squished it all around and it made this, I wound up making this face that's kind of puking some canvas out of its own mouth. And it's loose. It almost looks like a, like a creepy uh, lo-fi Muppet. Like a Muppet without any like yeah. recognizable parts. Right. And so then I was like, all right, I'm gonna collage around that. And I really did not like how the collaging around it was gonna look. Right. So I ripped the canvas face off of the canvas board, and I I'm gonna work with that, and the rest of it, I'm gonna do something else with. Are you about to show? Cool. Was that I, a long-winded answer? I, I, no, no, no that like, was, that, that's uh, actually really. That's wait, wait, the, wait, I, it's, 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 it's like I like hearing about the process of how oh. it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, you can't you can't just get pissed off if it's not working. Like you gotta make a change, or I mean, you can walk away, I guess, and start over. But I kind of liked what was going on with the canvas. I just didn't like. Yeah, it's always wild to me, and I, I feel know. like I would probably get to this point if I tried to do art for, for realsies, but when you see an image of someone's studio, or you see even just like a, a, a repertoire of like somebody's paintings, and they have like a similar version of a painting a million times, right. because they're, wor they're just doing it over and over again and trying to like find the, I guess maybe their perfect version of it or something, but that's always fascinating to me, like just painting the same thing over and over again, just as many different ways as possible, and then you finally done. get the one where you're like happy with it is that done it's done uh, that's, yeah. well no that's what's really interesting about oh wait no oh so close one little thing I gotta, I gotta jen finish. had uh had lost of antibiotics and um they never did the emergency surgery oh okay, okay. they decided against it okay good it's too complicated well i hope everything is uh Gets better. I remember, yeah. yeah, my my biggest thing with my, I, I won't get into what it was, but it was, like, but, but yeah, I had a tremendous pain. I actually had to be on morphine for a while, and uh, morphine is the weirdest thing. Let's talk about, we were talking about train spotting earlier. It felt like like that. When, yeah. it, like, when it went into it, it went instantly. It was better than all the like, cocks in all the world. I felt like you McGregor when he sinks into the floor in that thing, where I was like, and my wife, and Lindsay uh, asked me, said, so said, does it, she said, does it, does it still hurt? And I said, yeah, but I just don't care. Yeah. yeah it's that's like, exactly uh, what it's, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, I, yeah. Morphine was wild. Bloody hell, hold on, listen to a crow. Looked at me now, and my face is all wet. Yeah, shakes out. It's a tough, Mount Erie, man. It's a tough album to get through. That was that album I was telling you about. It's called A Crow Looked at Me. It's, um, an, it's unbelievably good. It is a person in their raw state. 
just making music about it and just unabashedly. It's so good, but it's also incredibly difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like you need to listen. You know, it's one of those things where it's like you have to hear it, though. You have to hear it. There's a leak in my ceiling. They gave me two doses of fentanyl and four of Dilaudid. Dilaudid. I'm in tremendous pain. Won't go away. Jesus. Well, you got any paints? You want to hang out with us, do some paints? Yeah, yeah. Might help. It's actually pretty affordable, like $22 for a fifth. I think that's the size vodka. Oh, you're talking about um, Tito's. Yeah, Tito's is a good cheap vodka. <laughs> we need conversations being had right now. Mostly about ways to escape from pain, <laughs> whether it be medication or alcohol. Or painting. Or with painting with your friends. With your friends. Yeah. Happy birthday. I started off, the reason I asked it is I started off, I was like, I think I would go back and do the childhood fear thing and do a tornado. No, and then I, I started doing something, I'm like, no, this isn't a tornado, I don't know what this is, but I'm kind of interested in it, so. Yeah, right? I mean, if you just want to yeah. play with lines and shapes and see yeah. sort of what comes, that's, that's fine. See, I'm in that spot right now where I could here. fuck this up, but I like what right. I'm Keep doing. Keep so, in, yeah, but that still. looks better. That's what I wanted. Jeff, ever heard of Don Q Puerto Rican rum or ever had it? Uh, I have heard of it, I had, uh, but I have not had it. He has heard of it, he has not had it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you recommend it? Who asked me that? Uh, India. Oh, India. Would you recommend it, India? Is Sorry. it good? Hey. Whoops. I'm assuming you would since you I'm assuming you would since you That would be fun. I love when people are like, have you ever had this thing? And you're like, no. I so you'd probably say it's pretty good. They're like, no, it's terrible. Bullshit. <laughs> I've had, yeah. I've had yeah. that happen before. You're like, why would you bring it up then? Why are we having a conversation about it right now at this bar? Dripsy, dripsy. OK. Satisfied. This looks good. <laughs> yeah, right, so India. I'm, congratulations. I'm, I'm not even half done with my bottle and OJ. Congratulations, <laughs> India, <laughs> on your payment. I that am the greedy awesome. man that on the city core. taking over the city. I'm is a greedy, greedy man? bloody man. Yeah. So that's your fear? A greedy man? Not, I mean, that's a real simplified way of putting it. Trump, but yeah. Trump. No. <laughs> no. In a much bigger. It's not a cartoon version. No, cartoon. No, <laughs> it's not Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi's very upset. We made Lexi sad. We made no. Lexi sad. <laughs> Lexi, I'm sorry. You have, like the scariest painting. No, it's painting, not that litter, it literal. It's so good. It's a. It's a. Yeah. Yo, what's happening, Miss Blessing? Picture of a demon. Well, India, congratulations. It's Eddie with his with the baloney. Absolutely. That's fantastic, and that is all I'm happy with uh, it. Uh, uh, India it's right there. Pretty. Yeah, so the you know, idea like to, that greed will take over the world and if, destroy everything that's beautiful. That's a pretty like big fear. If you claim another one of the paintings so far, that one and Jeff's that he did before has already been claimed. Right now, you can still claim my painting, which is getting very close to being finished right there, or uh, Lexi's, which is looking way cooler Lexi's by the really, second. really beautiful. I love it. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome, Lex. What are you talking about? You were, like, all worried it was bad. It looks so good. It's looks looking so good. really good. That's looking awesome. I don't think you need to That's the scariest one. Any, <laughs> that's, like, really Feel any woe creepy. about that. It looks like a cover of the uh, stories to tell in the dark or whatever. Um, I honestly think it's looking... I mean, I like what... I like yeah, that, Yeah, so if you, if you want to claim Lexi's painting, you still can. 20 bucks, I'll mail it to you myself. And uh, Jeff's working on a second one. I'm just doing something weird now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's fun, too. I don't know where this is going to go. Oh, maybe that's your greatest fear. Oh, yeah. not knowing where I don't we're know where this is going to go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mine's called abortion. <laughs> it's my greatest fear is having an abortion <laughs> as a man. It looks... Having a male abortion. Yeah. Shadow hands. Pretty. Lexi playing... Painting life in a relationship with a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Ghost Hands Trees. Ghost Hands right. Trees. Huh? Also, should we should we do the karaoke song I'm now? Reset. I say we do this karaoke song we've well, got hanging do you over our backs. Get to are you in a, to a landing point with yours? Are you almost done? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. You know. I'm just saying, I think we could probably have all paintings. Have all paintings done and then move into the next yeah. section of the show. I agree. I like that. So I'll finish this one out. Jeff will finish his. Lexi will finish hers. We'll have our paintings done and then we'll do more karaoke. If you'd like to go ahead and start getting donations in for more karaoke songs or dance off numbers, we are going to be getting back into that very soon. It is uh, $10 for a karaoke song, $30 for a dance off and um, for Jeff and I, and uh, $5 for us to sing Happy Birthday to Carly. And, uh, oh yeah, the paintings are 20. And that's it, that's all she wrote. I think that's all the incentives? Yep. The stars align the next year, or some year, we got a Holdenators Evo meetup, yes. Which I'm very excited about. Even though that's like a maybe that'll happen next year in August. Mm. Yeah, Evo's the big fighting game championship, mm -hmm. and they usually do it in like Vegas. Cool. And I really want to go, like, worry, have a meetup with a bunch of people. So it's, yeah. it's kind of clean up fine. But what I am doing is having a meetup with a few people for Games Done Quick next week. Yeah, I would enter just for the fuck of it. I would enter it and play and, and lose for the hell of it. You know, what What if I got to play, like, Daigo or something <laughs> in brackets? Oh. Like, enter Can the I... fighting game competition, you know? I'm I'm excited because I went to IKEA today. Yes, I'm which was IKEA step trip. number one into getting my bullshit set up so I can stream. I yes. had to get a desk, so I was like, I got this. I can do this by myself. It's gonna be great. And IKEA by yourself is a very strange experience. It was kind of quiet, which was nice. It wasn't stressful because that place can stress me the hell out. Um, but I learned that hope and faith alone for what you can carry as one person is not enough. <laughs> so I got this desk, and it comes in two huge boxes. I could carry everything else. And I got it into the car, and then I was just like, oh, shit. Like, my roommates aren't home. I texted my neighbors. I, like, tried to come up with any game plan because I didn't think that far ahead so glad I you didn't hit me up I wouldn't be able to help you but even I wouldn't if I would have would have been a nightmare you. I wouldn't have asked you so I <laughs> anyway I was like uh, one way or another I'm getting this done this was my task for the day uh, not an NYC uh, Mr. Butts but I think we'll do a wizard and the bruiser show sometime soon and I would love to meet you at that That'd be a good, like, holdenators kind of meetup. Keep going, Carly. Yes. So, um, I was able to get it all home. Then I'm dragging these, the two big problem boxes up my stoop. And the bottom falls out of one of them. And all the Ikea dingle dangles go, bling, 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 ding, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, like, uh, I hate like a wind chime. Like a wind chime. Well, that's what Ikea shit looks like before you put it together. Please, it's I love to like, come to Australia. Are you kidding me? It was... I just cracked up. I just thought it was so funny. Meanwhile, I'm like sweating and I'm just like feeling just like, oh, determined. Turns out it was the best way to get it all in the apartment. I picked it all up and I carried it in, in little trips. And it was easier than dragging that big ass box in. Cause I have a very tiny hallway full of crap. So, Everybody hates a big ass box. A big ass I mean. box in a tiny hallway. <laughs> Sexual, right? That was like Wait. sort of a woman's. Lots of imagery. Um, no. <laughs> I've been drinking. Um, but anyway, yeah, I a got it all in. Sweaty box. I got it all in. <laughs> there you go, another setup. <laughs> um, it worked out. It worked out for everyone. And I have all my IKEA shopping done. I don't have to go back. I'm stoked, because now within this week, the plan is to get the computers and whatnot. Yeah, you can All totally request box. a painting to buy. It. Just put in uh, your donation. Uh, if you donate 20 bucks, just put in whose painting you want, and you're good. Uh, so far, uh, it's only <laughs> mine, Lexi's, and Jeff's second painting that are on the table right now. But Jeff, are you about ready to show yours? Maybe show a version There's of yours? There's no rush. That yeah, should not be said. Soon. There is no rush. Just this, um, I'm less confident with this one. 
I think you did a great job of. This is more fun. You maintained the the spiral though. That's a very a big old box like throwing spiral. a hot dog down a hallway, please. I'm in a custom one. Oh, can you request a painting? I think we're actually. I think we're going to be done with paintings for the night, right? But if you want to talk a custom one, sure. If you want to talk a custom one, we might be able to help you. I think yeah. you want Carly to make you something. Well, we could figure it out. Maybe at some point we could do some cocktail and while you did a custom one for Vans, I guess. Yeah, we can work something it out. Something like that. We can work it out. Whatever you want to do. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. I mean, it's your birthday I can do week what I want. this is what these people need at this point. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I like an entire week. Carla was like, I'm coming doing the stream tonight. I was like, please do the stream. You have to do the stream. She's like, I'm doing it. It's got to be a birthday one. <laughs> I think you guys know me well enough to know that's a bunch of bullshit. And she I was, was delightfully and was surprised. Coffee. I didn't expect nothing. Nothing. Um, I want an original yeah. holding that says Pepperoni Princess. That's it. Okay. $20, it's yours. Pepperoni Princess. $20, it's yours, Vance. I'll make a Pepperoni Princess painting. Literally just a I painting that just that. says Pepperoni Princess on it. It just should say it somewhere. I know, isn't this my great? However, to drink from it, you have to, <laughs> is very like, uh, I, you're biting the brains of a tiny, cute little horse girl. <laughs> biting the brains. That's what it feels like, because there's not a proper sipping spot. They're biting all, the brains so, of a you have to be cute, like, tiny pony horse girl is like the name of like an indie song from the early 2000s, I think. You know, poetry, I know poetry. Before I show it, because it's running. A lot of water in this and room. Jeff's is mixed <laughs> meat. He, he actually the, used some of his own urine for this one. So if you'd also like a bit of Jeff's about, urine, the you paper can is made for that. water. So you just lay. She's a man, baby. Man's fine. blessing. I'll, I'll take the up. original holding painting. Pour for four. I'll also uh, make you your p p princess. Uh, what is it again? Pepperoni that's what princess. He wants. He's taking this one, and I'm giving the pepperoni princess one. Boom! 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 Yeah. If you could set me up with another canvas, I'll make his pepperoni princess painting as well. It, you can have a piece of paper. I would love a piece of paper. <laughs> can we do paper towel? Um, I like mixed I medium think with paper, paper towel. I mean, hey, man, you do you. I have been doing me for many, many days. Do you. We're talking about masturbation. Apparently. Jeff, what's the bar you taken me to, says India. Well, you're going, you're going to take him to, uh, whatchamacallit? Travel uh, bar. Travel bar. Yeah. Travel bar is the bar. Yeah, that's, that's my Jeff. favorite bar in Brooklyn. That's actually, they, uh, they make that, the drink we're having tonight at Travel Bar, actually. This oh. It's in this, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's in, it's in Brooklyn, and it's, uh, yeah. And my, I'll take my you to, my favorite bar. I'll take you to a bar I keep meaning to take Lexi to, so this would be a good excuse for it. It's uh, a Hear that, Lexi? it's a speakeasy Hear hidden that? in the back of a um, <laughs> of a hardware store. Have you guys been to Dutch Hills? It's not that far from you. Yeah, that's a great place too. Yes. Is that the barbecue place? No, it's just a bar. It's a it's like a craft bar. Oh. Yes. Bar. This I, I don't think anybody want to buy it. This I don't think this is that. I think you should. Well, let's still put it up for share. sale. I, 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 Jeff, um, have share your I discoveries. Like it. It's a good painting. You made discoveries. Don't do that. That looks great. That looks better than that other garbage you painted. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other bullshit that India bought. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll do it for you. It's in the see. eye of the beholder. This is Jeff's painting right here. Look at it. If you'd like to purchase Jeff's I think painting, it's that pretty looks awesome. awesome. That looks fucking what great. What the fuck are you talking about? And if you would like about? to purchase that, it is twenty dollars for you to purchase. You did a great job. You were, uh, uh, you were taking this one home, Vance Blessing, as well as a painting of uh, pepperoni bread. Can you? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I want to cut it, right? Cut it? Why? Right here. And no, no. no. Center it. And I like anybody, it. If anybody would like to purchase Lexi's painting, like it. is still up for grabs, and I think it might be the best one of the night. I, don't I think so. So uh, I there think you go. Oh, Mr. You don't have to cut nothing. Mr. Buss has, be uh, has been to Why should uh, it be centered? Travel bar. Nice. So this is Lexi's painting if you yeah, want to claim it looks that. Great. The spiral painting is uh, is Jeff's if you want to claim that. Mine has already been claimed. It's twenty bucks, and you get you get these, and they're phenomenal. Just claim them in in your donation, and uh, there you go. That looks I guess I'm gonna best. call this tornado because I actually yeah, started off to do that. Yeah, and, right? and my my fear as a child was being like on the inside of a tornado and just, yeah. just sort of all chaos. And I get that. Together. I totally so, get that. Yeah, this is my tornado. Baby. I'm afraid of large hands. 
Which I'll happily keep for my yes. hands. <laughs> like she's afraid of large hands. Oh, and it's time to start drinking again. She's a I man, baby! India! Just... Think I'm broke, but fuck it. Lexi, there you go. Oh. Lexi sold her painting to India. India you are purchased so multiple me. paintings Our tonight, and you are amazing for that. Thank you so much. India, can you toss me the uh, next, to the that. final palette so I can write Pepperoni Princess on a painting? Yeah. This is done, by the way, Vance Blessing. This is yours, and the only unclaimed one at this point is now the Tornado painting by Lord Loves Him, Jeff. And now we're gonna get back, and now we're gonna ch we're gonna change things soon. We're gonna get back into the cocktails part of the stream. We've got questions, yes. we've got drinks. It's gonna be amazing. And India, you got some real good paintings today. Actually, yeah, you wanna toss me the hats. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I didn't realize you were stuck in the hat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the point of the hat, Jeff. Earlier, but this this is the paper. That's the paper. Well, we had a couple different you types, can, right? No, this is all the same. Yeah. But I had a thicker one the first time in a. Uh, they're all the same. If you, by the way, if you really saw the beginning of the screen, there was some killer karaoke and some like fun dance and everything. So uh, we'll have to get that going again for you. Holden uh, and and uh, Carly uh, singing. Um, Mother by Danzig was one of the best things ever. That actually, that I felt actually, fun. I usually don't, you know, I usually That's like, what whatever, it's karaoke, but I felt soft. That's what the container looks soft. like for the paint. And these are, like, not that expensive. They're not that fancy, but I really like them, even comparing them to some fancy stuff. I think they're they're very friendly. Absolutely. And I like the color palette itself is very nice, too. Absolutely. I like the experience. All right. I think this is my pepperoni color right here. Hopefully. And this is finishing it out with Pepperoni Princess. This one's already been bought, okay? I'm just creating it. I'm just making it anew. Oh, I, uh... How do you spell pepperoni? <laughs> There's two P's. E R. Oh, thank, oh, oh also, if you did I. purchase a painting, unless you're India, uh, uh, thank you, Vance, for putting it into uh, my whisper. Just send me your address via a whisper, oh, yeah. and I'll be able to. I'll be, it doesn't matter how to spell it. P E P P E R. Spell it wrong. It's pepper. Cool. You know how to spell pepper? Just think pepper first, okay? Now. There's, yeah, look at here, they gave it to you. Oh. Oh, by the way, we have to there sign you know. these guys tonight. Yes. Oh, okay. let's remember that. I, I actually bought a pen for us to sign. Oh, cool, great. With. Um, I didn't bring it today. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'm fine. Sorry. We can sign it with what we got. I yeah, also yeah, have pens yeah. we'll, and stuff. We'll make it work. Just let's remember before we leave, we'll, we'll sign all of these. Yes. It makes it way better. Send them to I'm people. not good at that. Yeah, I don't me like too. putting I my forget. signature. I don't like. It's it's not that I don't want to take ownership. It's that I don't like it on the front. I don't like it. I don't like having to hide it in the image. Like, can I just put it on the back? Right. Is that okay? I don't know. Right. Yeah, put it on the back. You can put it on the back. It, I usually put it on the back. The what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Put it on the back. No, put it on the back. But a lot of people. What's put in the box? The What's in the box? Yeah, but they spell pizza for you too. It's princess. Thanks. It's not pizza. Uh, <laughs> yet again, Lexi, not in the... Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry. Hey, Lindsay, by the way, if you're still on, uh, I broke a glass earlier. <laughs> it was a Don't perfect worry, it was time. One of the ones that he gave me. About, <laughs> it was a song all about I, shaking and moving around the and house. And we were singing Love Shack, and I, uh, yeah, and... and <laughs> Uh, that was so funny too when you were just like, Fuck! Like, yeah, and I, uh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. They finished funny. the song. That's what's the I sign, don't, you know, of a true. Did I actually, yeah. I don't remember. Did, did I actually yell? Yeah, fuck Rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow, 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 Rainb
monkey brains. I would have been devastated if I had broken Rainbow Dash, but <laughs> that would have actually been worth it just to see a reaction to no, breaking Rainbow Dash. No, it's not your Dash. fault. It yeah. is a part of, you know, the exuberance that Jeff brings to the table. You should was... draw a lady with really big um, nipples. I'm about to ask you to do that. Oh. <laughs> True, okay. Taking it that away, Lexi. Yeah. Is that what that means? Am I just a dummy? Is that like some slang these days? I feel like it's something I said on Roundtable. Oh. Okay. Is what I feel like it is. Because whenever it's something like that, I'm like, you know what? It's probably something I said on Roundtable. <laughs> I don't. And what I try to explain to people is like, I literally go into a blackout state. When I do round table of gentlemen, I become a different person and whatever I, and then people are just like, remember when you said that crazy shit? And I'm like, I don't, I don't remember what I said. This any is of that why you can do shit. entire episodes where you just talk incessantly for 30 minutes. Oh, absolutely. Right? <laughs> because you can just go into the realm where words come out of your mouth and you don't actually exactly. think of them. Exactly. They just <laughs> rise above <laughs> to the oh. surface. I, I missed the setup to Pepperoni Princess. What is, what, what, why are we doing it? It was this? requested. It was requested, uh, so I'm doing good. it. Because I'm a good guy, and I'm nice to people. Unlike what Le Alexis mm -hmm. says about me, which is fine, because I will take the abuse, and I will take the, the pain. India, I feel like That's I right, need Mr. to Buster donate an bullshit. extra painting to India. I know, right? I'll give him my spiral one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah well, you can have, if nobody donates for it. Yeah. India has in. gotten paintings from us before. Yes. Too. Yeah. We should Can just you start. Put tits on a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Quote. Quote unquote. I'm not at all surprised. <laughs> tits on a baby sounds like the title of a murder fist sketch. Actually, yeah. there you go. That's, That's the pepperoni <laughs> princess. That's pretty good, right? I like that actually. You looking at it upside down? I, I well, like yeah. the bit of yellow you got in there. Well, that's her crown. Yeah, I see it. That looks like balls, though. Those yeah. are two. Well, they're really? boobies. They're boobies. Well, they're tits. Slash yeah. pepperoni. Oh, okay. The entire boob is the pepperoni. I hope that's not her nipple. This is like truck nuts. Jesus Christ. No, that's not the nipple. <laughs> well, I thought that was the whole thing. Is the well, pepperoni princess was the nipple. the nipple. No. Uh, am I making assumptions? Which one's Somebody black? Somebody said black? this. She's a man, baby. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Technically, Vance Blessing, you did just donate for a uh, karaoke song if you'd like to throw down what song you'd like to hear. <laughs> Big old <Yeah>. kitty princess. <laughs> you know? This there is you the go. weirdest so, so is, thing that's, I... Yeah. Oh, but so those are tiny nipples. All right, I'll oh, make them no, bigger! No, they can, be, <laughs> they can be the entire areola. Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! No, no, that's fine. Because it's like, because it's like, it, the boobs are are uh, uh, orange because it's all areola. I can't do this. No, I can't I like be married it. to I like you. It. I can't Should be married. I'm breaking off the engagement. Oh. Should this well. be an incentive? We'll draw you boobs and send them to you for. Uh, we'll just do. We'll just yes. do. Seven dollars. Lexi's do choice for song and Lexi's Ooh, choice for song. For karaoke or dance? Yes, for karaoke. Um, all right, oh, so again, being blessing like this and my other uh, painting, those both go to you. That's for you. And uh, we've got Lexi's choice for song <laughs> and nipple size. And nipple size. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> and if nobody wants it, India, we're sending you my weird spiral thing, too. Uh, with, <laughs> with, Hold it. With weird the good one. tornado, as in, you know, your true childhood fear. <laughs> mm. Holden, your correct response should have been, yes, sweetheart, apple of my eye. I will make the nips gargantuan. <laughs> if I want I boobs, apologize. I can look at my drag breastplate. Er, mm, oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's okay, see. What's, so, a good, what's a good song? So we're going to do karaoke now. We're going to switch up this room. We're going to go back to cocktails, right. essentially, which means we've got to get the jazz going again. That was super fun. I want to do Yay! that again. Yes, Yay! please. We'll do more crossovers. Well, yeah. I think yeah, what's sure. going to happen is I'm out of town next Monday. Yeah. I'm even down to do another crossover, like, the Monday this after that when all of us are back in the town and everything. So might as well just go for it, right? Yeah. Well, uh, but next time, do we? the question is, do you, I try and do something different every time. Now, it kind of rotates between what I got on hand. But yeah, it's just we like could do other got. shit. Sure. It was just kind of fun. I really loved the uh, the the ga the ga the guy the guy squash, but I also like acrylics. I also like watercolors. I'm pretty much 100% a hundred percent down. A gouache. You ever do you clay? You ever do like stuff? Um, Ooh. I have some sculpey right now. I got a oh, bunch I love of sculpey, yeah. but 
Um, we could try it. That's like harder I to made accomplish. My wife actually, well, for one of our first like Christmases, I made her out of Sculpey. I made the Aquitaine Conger Force. Sweet. Out of that, uh, that back this is back when that was like obviously like That's much so more yeah. like in the moment, and uh, I gotta say they came out pretty well, and. Um, I have made that little pedestal for Frylock to be kind of like floating and stuff. Yeah. And um, uh, she knew what she was getting, she was signing up for because she got <laughs> clay versions of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force from her future husband. I did, so I did Skulky yeah. um, and little, what were they, um, like clothespin people for my D&D group once. Hey, yeah, it was a lot of work. Figures are amazing, hell yeah. Making, I bet they are. That's super fun. We could bring it in. Um, I'll bring them in. Oh, you got, yeah, oh, bring you those. I, you said I was saying we could bring in, like, the Sculpey. Um, cool. But why not? Do, do seriously. I got a lot. That's what raptors that. were made I, I from mean, for uh, Jurassic Park? Really? Interesting. Seriously? Um, okay, so, uh, Carly, actually, if you wouldn't mind removing maybe some of the yeah, painty stuff. Ditch it. Uh, I thought with me. come up with a good uh, song. A song for what? You guys to... Oh yeah, because you're gonna. Uh, yes, we already have one to sing, which was what was it again? The Mexican. Uh, Mexican radio. Mexican radio. So let me get that set up for us right now. And while we're doing that, think of. Uh, but don't 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 worry too much about what it. I mean, if any song is good. You cheat and just do. Uh, do a Calman song. song. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we could. I mean, there's always that option. But you know, come. But Carly or like Lexi rather would uh, pick whatever you want. Carly, you know. Maybe, uh, so what was it again? Mexican radio, radio <laughs> voodoo, karaoke. It's because I don't know the song, so. Oh, is it offensive? I guess so. I don't know. Really? I don't know. Do you guys know the song? I know I, the song. I, I don't know the lyrics before. to the song, but like I know Like I said, song. I just know that there's a restaurant called Mexican Radio in uh, in Soho. But please tell me this is not an offensive song. I'll be so sad if this is an offensive song. What? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it is, is it? I don't know the lyrics. Nothing you problematic, know, guys. You know, like, over there or Shouldn't be offensive, dot, dot, uh, dot. Okay. Radio, radio. Africa by Toto. Oh, wait. I think that's a different Mexican radio. I'm just the radio. Cool, I think that I think that's maybe a different one. Radio voodoo. Ooh, the karaoke version, the top. I'm one, out of Mexico. Yeah, it doesn't do the actual lyrics. Oh, uh, what about the um, purple one? That's what I'm worried about because it's like different and it's saying weird stuff. I don't. We should look up the lyrics before My back is not dry, we, uh... so it's I'm like that can't be good. Wait, who suggested this? <laughs> I don't Let's know. consider the source. Radio, <laughs> yeah. I keep thinking of the REM song. All right, which one of you all suggested uh, Mexican radio? Wait, is that the Chipmunks? What is that? Yeah. Yeah, if the Chipmunks did it. It's not offensive. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the same band. I don't know, fuck it if it's too much to do a David Bowie song. All right, that <laughs> sounds good. I can't find a good version of it. I think that's like a weird racist other different song, oh. actually. Oh, what's happening, Clogger? How you doing? Um, But I can't find a lyrics version of it, so... A David Bowie song. Nice. Well, I mean, there's plenty there. Yeah. How about uh, Young Americans? Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can always fade it out. All right, cool. Sorry about that. Uh, Cordo. Cordo. Uh, Apologies. I couldn't find a good one with um, Mike's Raiders Very Murder Fist. I couldn't find a good karaoke version of it. So. Um, okay. Time for more karaoke. Karaoke. I'm ready. Both mics are boosted, by the way, to the loudest. I think if we're just kind of screaming into them equally, it'll be good. Okay. Um, let me uh, add the karaoke guys, version. There was a request for life on Mars, but uh, do, do I do... Uh, there was a request for life on Mars? Well, no, I just, I, I just see it there. Uh, who is it? I can't read it. MF, MF Dev. Dev. Yeah. 
But uh, Young Americans, right? Come on, that's good too. Yeah, absolutely. We did Life on Mars last time. So. Okay, it's a great song. It is so good. Well, it's like it's, a, it's like it is the quintessential when you karaoke song. Say is, that that blank David Bowie song is great. Yeah, you can be literally talking about literally talking about any song. song. Uh, okay, and we'll do Life on Mars later, probably. All right, let's rock this. I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna pause this. I hope everybody's gonna sing on this one. We're gonna do this one, and then Lexi still has to call out a uh, karaoke song for for us to do next. And then we're gonna pull out the questions. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna have some more drinks. It's gonna be a blast. So, let's rock. Okay. Yeah, that's great. All right. Yeah. Wheeling and dealing happening behind me. I mean, it's. There's Wait, can you do cat people if it's not too much trouble? What's cat people? Is that? Oh, never heard of Calman. You should karaoke one of their greatest hits. <laughs> Hear that? What's cat people? What is cat people? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, I have to know. Cat people. Cat people. Oh, it's it's uh it's David Bowie. Oh, okay. I don't know if I know. Well, we're this doing one. this one, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna There's the wing first it. question. It said, "What advice would you give to future dads?" So all of you all right. in chat, chime in. <laughs> Let's get down to it. I can't wait to butcher this for you, this Cordo. This is going to be horrible. But maybe we'll <laughs> figure it out. But yeah, you know, you can figure This might be the one David Bowie I usually right sacrifice the first song. verse, and then that's how I get there. See these eyes so green. I can stare. I can stare for a thousand years. Your turn. Colder than the moon. Well, it's been so long. I don't know this song. <laughs> and I've been putting out the fire with gasoline. I don't think that's how it goes at all. You just, Hell yeah. You just gotta like I'm so much happier we're doing this song. See these eyes so red, red like the jing jungle burning bright. Those who will feel me near, pull the blinds and change their minds. It's been so long, still this passing night, a plague I call a heartbeat. Just be still with me. Through. You've it's been, been so long. long. Well, it's, it's been, been so long. long. I've been putting out the fire with gasoline. Putting out the fire with gasoline. You fucker. <laughs> We're I'm going to savor these 16 measures. I think, yeah, how close are I we? think we're guessing. How close are we to this song? So bad. <laughs> I'm just getting that smell. My card got blocked, and I'm waiting on a new one. It's like uh, it's like Jared. It's like exactly Jared. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and harmonize based off of what we have. What we have. MF Dev is loving it. All right, Carly, you take we the lead. We have to. See this chair so blue, and the ageless heart that can never mend. Tears can never dry. A judgment made can never be. See these eyes so green, I can stare for a thousand years. Just be still with me. You wouldn't believe what I've been through. Been so long. Fucker. Yeah! It's a one of those uh, solos. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Our neighbors love us. Our neighbors love us. This is what David Bowie always wanted. That's the best. Put it on the fire! Uh, I've been putting out the fire, putting out the fire, well, it's been so long, so long, so long, yeah, it's been so long, so long, so long, I've been putting out the 
is this off of? Yeah, don't know the song at all. What album is it? It's a Bowie song. We keep doing it early. Yeah, yeah. I like to jump, you know, come on. Yeah, put it out the fire. scream out something but you had the thing in front of us so I have no idea what it was. It says uh Lexi please friends scream out friends in low places oh. for them. <laughs> Over 50 people just watched us do that. Nice um, to have you. Nice. Good. Yes. Uh, 52 <laughs> people nice actually. You. Thanks for being here. Uh thank you please We're for being here. Are okay. we doing let's let's dance? What oh, did no, you want? No, they said Cordo said let's dance. If That's gonna, the no, album. no no what was your request I'm that gonna Carly told your you? Question. I'm just going to tell you after I'm you're still not telling me the thing. You guys I have seen the most it. hilarious David Bowie well, video ever, right? David Bowie, yeah. You know what's Let's even, dance with the uh, David Bowie album yes. that this was the one with him and Mick Jagger dancing in the street. Where yeah, they, they, they just, like, I love that video. It's the most, like, over the top, like, it's from my birthday. video they, ever. It's amazing. It was fun. It's really, really fun. Don't sing. Help us by answering. All right, so which of these beers have you heard of? Presidente, Corona, Heineken, all and Modelo, of all of them. Are you fucking ridiculous? What do you want to know? Fuck you. Carol all right. Fun. Here we go. Ten dollars, by the way, if you want to request song. a karaoke song, and if you want to make so Jeff and I do a dance you. off, it is thirty it's, bucks. It's a good length. It's not too long. All right, start us off. No, I haven't ever just beat up Holden, but oh, I kind of want to. Oh, my pretty one. Oh, pretty one. Sharona, oh, you make my motor run, my motor run. Honey, coming off of the line, Sharona, never gonna stop, give it up. Such a dirty man, I always get it up from the touch of the younger kind. My, 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 Sharona. my, 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 Come a little closer, huh? Be a hunt, close enough to look at my eyes, Sharona. Keep a little mystery, your gift to me. Running down the length of my thighs, Sharona. Never gonna stop, give it up. Such a dirty mind, always get it up. From the touch of the younger kind. My, my, I, 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 whoo! My, 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 Sharona. My, 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 Sharona, ooh! Like, should we do the next one? No. Jeff, you jump <laughs> in for the next one. Come in, come into the next vocal. Where's the beer? Look, oh. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's kind of wild. You gotta hit deal with this loading bar. It's taking forever, this load. This was my favorite song to the weird blast when I, know, I right? drove a car. My Bologna. Because I was a teenager, and I thought this was a real... <laughs> it's it's me. Is it just a matter of time, it's Sharona? Here's a tip of destiny, D destiny. Or is it just a game in my mind, mind Sharona? Sharona? Never gonna stop, give it up. A dirty mind, always get it up. From the touch of the younger kind of my, 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 woo! My, Sharona. My Sharona, my 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 Sharona, my 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 Sharona, my 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 Sharona. Now it goes into like a little like rainbow. This is the um, I think of Mario Kart, the rainbow track. Right. That's what this is like. Wee! Wow! Yeah! Go the rainbow track. 
what I think of every time for years and years and years and years and years. <laughs> Killing it. Jeff's just killing it tonight. Oh, thank you. This stream concerns me sometimes. <laughs> I'll do it. lip sync the guitar solo. This is a long solo, yes. At least they can know. At least they can see the loading bar. It's always good to karaoke bar because it's a chance to have another drink, <laughs> hang out for a little while, <laughs> then go back into the song. By the way, I'll tell you, there was a I'm time I went to a karaoke Please, yeah, I think next in we'll do Texas, another round. and there was a man who hosts the night, and he happened to be an amputee, and he did the longest air guitar solo uh, yeah. that exists, and it was beautiful. It was awesome, and he like he really owned it, That's and awesome. he picked the most purpose, the longest one there was. It was a great time. We had that this much is my time. My first stream, it's a blast. Story. Hell yeah, I'm glad you could Thanks enjoy it, man. Thanks for joining us. For Life is nice in the mood for some spicy wings. I think we only get some. Are we gonna sing the fucking song all, again? Well, okay. you really only get like three more words. I yeah. hate to tell you. <laughs> Wait a second. It's the long ones, right? Yeah. Ooh. My Sharona! My Sharona! My Yeah, you wait that whole oh. time just to do it a just couple of But that was kind of cool. We got That's some cool. Got for we had some cool Thanks, harmonies going on there. Yeah, yeah. We had some cool harmonies. Uh, all right. God damn it. I think that song is fun. Fan fucking tastic. Well, that is all of the uh, karaoke donation incentives thus far. If you want to sing some more karaoke, it's just ten buckaroos. I would love to sing Happy Birthday to Carly one more time. That is five dollars. It's also uh, uh, twenty bucks for the paintings left on the right now. Is it just it's Jeff's tornado. spiral painting? Ooh, tornado. No. Yeah. yeah. Kind, that one's I the only. I don't want anybody to feel be guilty about the spiral. The, 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 but if somebody oh, wants it, it's guilty. up for you. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's not guilty. You're just letting him know what's out there. No, I buddy. think Lexi's already got bought. Well, the Indian, yeah, Indian Indian bought this one. Indy already got that one. Um, and he got Lexi's. And this this was was uh, a little more experimental. And that one is still up for grabs. Feel more proud the Tornado than by Jeff. That's all I'm saying. The Tornado. That's me getting sucked up into a tornado. <laughs> All right, Jeff. We're Where's like you it? getting sucked up into a tornado? And those, uh, that one, that painting. She's a man, baby. David Bowie, heroes. Y'all are my heroes. Happy yeah. birthday, Carly. Oh, Thank you so much, Cordo. Thank you, Holy shit. Thank you so much. Parts. Yeah, right? um, so yeah. let's make a drink, and yeah. we'll play. We'll, we're I gonna. Make the drink Thanks for helping me sing more songs, gang. Part of the instrument. Now okay. I said, let's do the instructions. Let's do cocktails. Yeah, yeah. Let, and Let's bring all the bottles out. Let's do cocktails. We'll make the drinks. Okay. We'll do the karaoke, and then we'll move on to questions. Perfect. Yeah, I'm We're loving so it. Organized. You guys have been so great. I, I well, I wondered how this was gonna work, it and I think it's actually great. working very well. Yeah. Um. The well, the. I don't know if you got through. You were saying that when you come back in two weeks, we might do another crossover. another crossover. I mean, I mean why not? Because we're gonna I'm gonna have to miss another Monday night stream next week. So why don't well, we come back and I, do another crossover next week? And you yeah. were gonna be out anyways. So yeah. Uh. There you go. It'll be perfect. Perfect. Uh, Carly is just your shoulder right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are co-hosting this, essentially. I know, but it's lots. because we have lots of friends, and I like to see their faces. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. I'm in the mood to eat to some goddamn spicy Spirtle wings. Era. Dude, this spicy wing talk's driving me crazy. I do have some food, though, so I can just eat more there. All right, so we're going to get back to the cocktail one more time before we move on to... Uh, this is one of my favorite songs Fill of all time, by the way. my horsey head. This song, by the way, is called Fun by Cannonball Adderley. It's one of my favorite uh, jazz songs of all time. I hope you're enjoying it. It's a beautiful track. I get me one of these. They're great, right? I, the one thing I have in my house is too many cups. I got plenty of cups. I got a little wall But now you want a mugs, rainbow dash. I get it. I am really enjoying this cup. The Summer Manhattan. It's rye, Dubonnet Rouge... With two O's, not one, Reagan's <laughs> number six, orange bitters. And the step one is going to be two parts rye. Let's make it happen right now. 
Two parts rye. Yo, Jeff, Holden don't want to read any of my chat, but this is my favorite part of the Manhattan variants you've made. Good job, bud. Hell yeah. Hey. Yeah, this is, this is, uh... Are we not we do bad job reading chat? I, think I don't we, know. We, we been, might have been slacking. Oh, well, I see. Inglorious, uh, you've seen Inglorious Bastards, right? Yes, I have. Also, they played the musicless version of that video on ch on last stream last week. It slayed me. Oh, the um, the uh, dancing in the street musicless video. That awesome. that is amazing. Their little sneakers are just it's around so like, funny. <laughs> when David Bowie's just kicking behind that wall, that's my favorite part. Like, that is like, so funny. I actually I, steal that a little bit sometimes from like my choreography, like when we're like. I think Do all no of those are stop. funny. Like, yeah. I really like them. Uh, Udi Goose, by the way, I gotta call him out because that man has made a lot of the cocktails. Uh, I don't know how many Udi Goose is like our them, one dude but... that makes the cocktails when we do cocktails, and it makes yeah. me so happy. So, Udi yeah. Goose, I'm yeah. sorry for some reason I have been I've been chat blind to you this evening, but I appreciate uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the 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 fact that you you actually mix along with us. Yeah. So. So fucking rad. We, because Jeff and I always talk. We were like, one day we hope that people will mix these drinks along with us. Step two, one part Dubonnet Rouge, and I feel like, um, I feel like it's slowly starting to happen. But I, it's so cool that Udigoos does it. Does Jeff have a stream? What is his this crossover with? I came here from last podcast network shows. Yes, absolutely. So I do a stream on Monday nights. Every other Monday, I do crafting with Carly. Every other Monday from that, and Carly is in Calman with me. She used to be in Murder Fist with me. Um, on friends. on every yeah, we're, we I go way back. We go way back to college. On every other Monday night, we do uh, crafting or we do cocktails with Jeff. So there you go. You can see the two show posters. Betting, betting. So either Carly comes over on a Monday night and we paint and hang out and chill with chat and do that, or Jeff comes over and we make a cocktail recipe. So this week we're teaming up and we're doing it all together, and it's been a fucking blast. Step three is gonna be for you and me. Three dashes, Regan's number six, orange bitters. Here it is. A dash. A dash. A dash. And, and a again, dash. he's making a few drinks, so a yeah. it's a little different. It's fine. Jeff has a special set of skills. Oh, and Liam Neeson's voice, of course. A very particular set. Well, and usually if we were doing the creep show creations, we would be playing a creepy game, because I yeah. do play video games. And yes, we've been playing through and I currently... Like We've been playing Fibula. Alan Wake, which is a lot of fun. I think it's you would new. like Alan it's Wake, Jeff. Uh, have you guys played, what's that one? Stir with ice and strain into glass, by the way, is the next step. Uh, what were you going to say? You played that, uh, uh, what's that, that, the one where you're like the painter and there's all the paintings in the room? Uh, uh, I well, can't Evil remember. Within 2 was the last one we, we did, which Which ruled, yeah, that game. was awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. For I, sure, it also had a cum woman. I'll be honest, I, I avoided it because I don't want a spoiler for it because I that's actually I want to play it. Well, all we'll say is calm woman. So I, I hope you're okay with that. That's fine. That's not telling you nothing other than there's calm. <laughs> and step five, give Carly a or birthday say, cheers. Once we, once yeah. we four, there right. you go. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, I know you said you rushed through these, but you didn't have to do that. Huh? You didn't have to do that. It's oh, layers of nice. fear. Layers, layers of fear. Layers of fear, yes. Uh, yeah, oh, thank you, Corda. Yes, yeah, my, Lindsay and I started that, but we got distracted and for some reason, like, went off it, but I want to go back to it at some point. It seemed, it was, it, I was really enjoying it. Um, All right, so he's pouring the drinks, and we're going to have a sip of those drinks in just a second. Oh, where's Lexi's, uh... Where are, where's the Lexi? Where is... The water. Oh, yeah. okay. Huh? All I saw was her hands oh, on the okay. camera, just like, I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay. Ready to cheer? Oh, what are you doing? I see bright lights. Ah, I'm too smart. I'm too smart. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All righty. All right. Are we ready for this? Fuck it. Yay! Without the five bucks. Happy yeah. birthday you. to you. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carly. Happy birthday to you. You are sweetie pie. <laughs> Thank you. Make Yay. a wish. <laughs> All right, ready, to set, go. <laughs> Of course I can blow them all out. Of course I can. <laughs> He's like, good. I am eight. 
Life, life is this. I am the I have strongest no ape I've ever been. You, uh, if, if you're a if uh, male, female, or how, how you identify, but I wish you were my, my nephew or niece <laughs> as well. So thank um, you. Carly, you first, first choice. Are you having one now? Do you want to? <laughs> Yeah, I'm having one now. Go for it. God damn. Oh, All yeah. right. These look great. Did you get these, these from one of those bakeries? On one of those. Well, I we have a lot of really are nice. You red velvet. Oh, oh yeah. Please. We have a lot of really I'm nice gonna um, gonna bakeries in the neighborhood. I like yeah, right. I think I'm gonna do Oreo. Also, thank you're turning you, sweethearts. 30. Thirty-five. So that's why I chose eight because three plus five is eight. There. There. <laughs> there. There's yeah. Twenty-six year old strong man. Also works out perfectly <laughs> with four people. You are, oh you my are goodness. Thank you, my, 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 my honorary nephew. Life is nice. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. You know what's funny is I actually started referring to myself as thirty-five probably like a month early. Because when people ask you how old are you, and it's like, well, I'm thirty-five in a month. It's like I don't really necessarily want to tell you when my birthday is. Like, yes. I, I don't know. Like I'm, 30, I'm 35. I'm already there. Dude, I recently did this but shit upset about getting older. where I thought I was a year older than I was, yeah, and then I had to do the math, and I was like, oh, cool, I'm actually a year younger than I thought I was. I think I thought I was 36. Anyway, I'm like, no, I'm turning 36. Yeah. Okay, cool. I really, for the got first time ever, what? I got that lost in my own age. Mm. What you going for? Um, Is that an Oreo? Yeah. What is that? Yes, that's an Oreo one. There's red velvet. The I grabbed an Oreo one as well. Okay. They all look amazing. Do not have right. any hesitation. Just mm -hmm. eat. It's very eat good. It up, up. Yeah. It's incredibly good. I hate to be <laughs> gallivanting these cupcakes in front of you people. You know, it's just so nice too, because every time we did one of these in the office, Every time we did one of these in the office, everyone was like, oh, I shouldn't, oh, I wouldn't. And then they all eventually end up like scarfing them down, but they have to do this pageantry where they're like, I should really, I'm losing weight, I'm working on, you know, it's just like, just fucking eat the cupcake or don't. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? You know, but maybe that's the that's the way you're dealing with some like self control or I don't know. I'm trying to mean. It's just boring. At the end of the day, I just like I want everyone to eat a cupcake or eat, eat just just eat that. It's just Give boring to hear. It's yeah, it's just like I'd rather you talk about anything else right now than how you shouldn't have this cupcake right now. You, 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 you give me a fork so I can eat this like job. a civilized person, but uh -uh. I'm just gonna. Okay. Happy birthday, the mistress of art, Carly India. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for purchasing the paintings tonight. Y'all don't look your age. Alcohol's preserving, right? I know, right, Cordell? I believe it preserves. And what a better way to wash this cupcake down than with a goddamn delicious summer Manhattan. I might like this maybe yeah. the best. Mm, it's so good. This is so good. I it's, uh, it's, We're it's, braggers. To be honest, this is a close second for me, um, my, uh, my personal favorite, to the mm. Sherlock. We still got to plan the Sherlock night. Mm -hmm. And again... I don't care if you eat the cupcake or you don't. I just hate the constant, the boring office banter that is the same every time anything happens. You know what I mean? I, I truly believe it should be fun at least. Jesus. I truly believe 30 is the new 20, and I agree. I feel like it, times have changed. Tell my eggs that. Oh, please. <laughs> Tell your sweet, precious eggs. I'll pump you full Can of you child. I will give you, ch I will, I will girth you with child. <laughs> girth, I like girth as a verb. Yes. There is no many more potent in this world than Holden. Eggs are smarter. That, so. I, my, my, I shoot hard, <laughs> thick. I shoot thick, so we're going to be fine. Man, I fucking hear you, old nature, so. Plate. You took my plate about Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I thought you didn't want, is this okay that it had the bottom of this plate on it? You were ignoring it, really. That's for you to sing. What is it? Man, I fucking hear you, Holden, or so. There's a place I go whenever I make a trip to Atlanta with my GF and we buy tons of these dank ass pastries for cheap and we give a lot of them away. Last time I brought them to the office, everybody pulled that BS and left most of them to throw away never again, exactly. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. It's just like, shut up then, who cares? I, then just don't eat it and don't make a big deal. But they have to make a big deal out of it. And then they always end up eating it. They almost always end up doing it. Nightbot, thank you for posting that. $5, we will sing happy birthday to Carly. Carly. Carl, too. We'll sing it to Carl as well. $10 karaoke with Carly. You choose the song. $20 to receive. Only one more painting is on the market right now, and that is the spiral painting by Jeff. And for 30 bucks, we will do a dance-off. You choose the song. It's really good. You choose the song. So there you go. I have a lot less qualms about eating 
like sugary sweet stuff. If it's especially good, yeah, it's but like then whatever. Again, I also like just I like do what you're gonna do. Too. And if you know. if you're trying like to do all. some big crazy diet, then just do the diet, but silently do it. If you scream about it, then you're not really doing it's it. It's not as easy for everyone. That was I know. Legit crazy, insane, awesome cupcake. That was incredibly good. <laughs> First time I did it, they all came by and said, "What are you trying to make me fat?" But they ate it all anyways. Exactly. Any kids in the Hall fans out there? Yes. yes. Remember one the uh, remember the, when they when they were when the, the Kathy's the, the secretaries? There's one Sounds where they were all like, having a thing where they like where they so. were. Anyway, I'm gonna go. No, no, no. I just I just realized I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna be describing a kids in the Hall sketch, and uh, there's no point. <laughs> like, Which know. one? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, there, there was one where they were all having like a little like they were having like an adult sleepover kind of thing, and they were like going on about how they couldn't have the cake, the coffee cake, and then they had Baileys, and it's like, what if I just put Baileys on the cake? And mm-hmm. just like, oh, <laughs> they just slowly end up and getting, like, ridic- more ridiculous. and more ridiculous. Yeah. Cheers. Well, hell yeah, I think we're going to go uh, a bit later tonight, so I hope you guys are down to chill with us, and I think it's about time for questions. Oh, wow, hell yeah. Well, we did some painting. We did We've done so much. That's why it's already 10. Normally we stop now. I feel like we're halfway through the show. Excellent. Does jealousy have... By the way, this is the questions portion Mm. of the show where we ask questions for you, chat to answer, as well as for us. This is a cocktail segment. Also, I don't need to speak directly into the mic. I keep forgetting that. It's about time for a big old joint. That will be happening pretty much immediately as soon as the stream is done for uh, Carly and I. At least. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> when is that shit going to be legal in New York? Really? Dude, it was so great in L.A. It was so amazing. Oh, no, you're... Huh? You're doing great. Wait, are you get, getting up? Oh. oh, careful, though, with the bare feet. Oh, I didn't know. Remember, there was a crunchy, crackly... Yeah, that's a does, anyway. je- does jealousy have value in driving humans to improve themselves, or is it a purely negative emotion? Also, we have to do Heroes by Bowie. Karaoke oh. in a second. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Good question. Seven minutes long. Does jealousy have value in driving humans to improve themselves, or is it a purely negative emotion? I think it's negative. I don't think jealousy is good on any level. I think you should improve yourself because you want to, not it's how because you define you're jealous. jealousy. I think it's if like, you, if you, okay, so how are we defining jealousy? Define, is yearning to is is being? Um, I think jealousy means like I actively. I have ill will towards this person because they're doing something that I don't want to do. As opposed, so it's not just envy. It's like it's like genuinely like, like. Yeah, it's. A I l- mean, a little, a little more. I will. S- okay, actually, now that I think about it, it's pretty It's, negative, it's mostly it's, it's mostly right. terrible. It's mostly driven me to do bad things in relationships professionally. But I will say, if it wasn't for the level of success that some of my contemporaries have had, mm-hmm. I don't know if I would be nearly as motivated seeing how well they're doing. I don't know if I would be nearly as motivated to do better myself. But Lindsay says competition is different than jealousy. Yes. And I yeah. agree and with And envy true. can actually also be like a positive. Yeah, I feel like yeah. jealousy is the negative part of, of yeah, all of that. That's, that's my feeling. I agree. You're right. I think it's only bad. I think yeah. jealousy is, is the, the definition of these are the days I know. Jealousy is letting it ruin you. <laughs> these are yeah. the we days I know, I know. We get each other. Dude, yeah. that guy put out, what's his name? He put out a solo album that you need to listen to. Oh, Bruce McCullough? Bruce yeah, McCullough. He's got two of them. He's got I once the, did Acid at age three. Yeah, do you remember that, that song? One? I do, yeah. That's That album, I was obsessed with that album in high school. He's got another one called The Drunk Baby Project. Yeah, Dave McCullough is, is brilliant. I love Bruce Kids in the Hall. Or Bruce McCullough, my bad. Uh, I love, love that guy. He's, he's so funny. He's, yeah, he's my favorite as well. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? Hmm. Lexi's Wait, purple. This is the only safe country, color to be there. in America right now. So. Oh, you're a new addition safe to the crayon box. Uh, no. Yeah. Um, um, no, I agree. Um, all right, so uh, I am a new addition to the crayon box. That's actually a good question for is, Carly. This is a very this is a I am, question right here. So, you know what my name is? is like, you know what I am? What? Filthy orange. It is the dirtiest orange you can fucking possibly be. It's Mr. a fun Buster's orange, but it's a Jew. filthy orange. Not in an offensive way. Jew, not in an offensive way. Cream fuckhole is good. These are good. I think. Rocio, yeah. Hmm. Strange puddle on Holden's floor, off white. 
Looney Goose, I know that's a Kiss in the Hall reference, but I'm also going to choose that. To, I, I also, I'm deciding for you that's going to be your that yours is, Oh, Bruce okay. Now. Is Bruce so, uh, <laughs> uh What about you, Lex? I don't know. Um, I would be... Nourish, okay? I'm kind of boring. You're not, absolutely not boring. Also, thing, so. Cannoli White. Cannoli White would be another one for me. I'm kind of a, um, like a anxious... Per, uh, anxious periwinkle, sort of a like anxious a periwinkle. That's not a bad. <laughs> kind of like a, a nervous periwinkle. There we go. <laughs> a peri tinkle, cause you pee <laughs> when you're scared. Whiskey brown says Lindsay. Whiskey brown. <laughs> Whiskey Heather brown. Gray H- Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Heather. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not feeling dark, but what is coming to my mind is like. Sidewalk blood red. Sidewalk mm. blood red. I like that. I don't feel like the cranberry has that color. Who did um, everyone give one? Like old blood. I haven't given one yet. I I'm need to, to, think, I need I, to I think, think of an actual color. I want to say like uh like. <laughs> Discharge yellow. Discharge <laughs> yellow for Lexi. Discharge wow, yellow. That's you? That is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy to call you my fiance in this moment. <laughs> Baby, baby. Bottoming, <laughs> cherry, and whiskey. Ooh, that's <laughs> Ooh, bottoming, cherry, like and whiskey. Like Ooh, yeah, old-fashioned brown would be good, too. Like period blood, she just, she said. X dumped me because she said she didn't I'm feel the same way drunk. about me. <laughs> Trying to let go of me, someone new, but it's hard. I don't think I feel I'm I can spent. or know how to go about meeting a new partner right now, and friends are married or moved, so it's hard to hang with friends. Any general advice? Sorry for all this emo Hamlet bullshit, but whatever. <laughs> don't um, worry about a new partner right now. Why yeah, are you worrying worry about, about that? Do Just what you uh, can do about uh, you know the stuff that's going to make you happy. I mean, it's, it's going to always be the same advice, but it's like, that. what are your interests? Go join a club that in- involves that interest. Like, do you like beer <laughs> brewer- brewing? You can find a club for that. Do you like video games? You can find a group of people that play video games in your area like that. You can find a group of people. Do a tabletop night. Go to, like, Magic the Gathering nights. Go to uh, poker nights. Go to uh, painting and Go to wine bingo. nights. Hang Go out to with bingo. old people. Hang out with old you people. You might learn something from them because they've been through it. It's and all then about you realize that you're going to survive. Whatever you like. People just do. <laughs> pursue a social group that involves the shit that you like, and just uh, you're gonna be upset about the person you're with, uh, or uh, the ex that you're you uh, you know, and that's gonna be a thing. So just like live with that and carry that in your back like some kind of fucking weight that you have to walk through the world with, and everyone's going ha ha ha! Look at the man who whose woman left him. But you say to yourself, you know what? I'll become a monster and I will eat you in the future. You're welcome, Cordo. See, that's not the direction that I would go. If you no. could sing one song <laughs> on a... M- that that is uh, her favorite color, by the way. Yeah, Fantastic. that was very funny. <laughs> but hospital gown blue also is very good. Look into, you, look into things that, that yeah, you actually can control. League, uh, which was originally meant to be the way for my single friend to meet people. That's right. Honestly, and, uh, why not? Do stupid stuff like that, like a bocce league. It's fun you'll, no you'll matter what. You'll get drunk what? with single people, and you'll fuck them. Honestly, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> I'm a good s- idea. Honestly, though, you will, or, or kiss them, or not kiss them, and just have a good time and have, make good memories. Are you like, get drunk church? and, like, knock a statue over and run from the Unless cops. Unless you're an asshole. Unless you're a fucking asshole. And then, Cordo, I'm coming for you, all right? And I will not stop. I will not stop haunting. <laughs> Until I get you, Cordo. He's just getting animated. And Cordo, Don't every worry about moment it. of your day, think that I will be in the bushes because that's where I am. I'm waiting for you, Cordo. And Jeff's got my fucking back, right, Jeff? That's right. <laughs> you don't need to know what Jeff said. <laughs> like, if it, you could sing one song on American Idol, what would it be? Oh, man. I would do, and this is to get past, I would do, um, I'd probably do. Uh, Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Jeff? Wait, I, I, I was just, I was watching some chat. What, what did you say? Uh, if what you were to question? sing a song... American Idol. On American Idol, what would you... What oh, would you God. Use? Um... I said Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. I'm gonna say, um... Oh, God. What should I do, Lindsay? Should I do, um... Harvey Danger? Should I do, uh... The... <laughs> What is it? Uh, uh, Flagpole Sitta? Or should I do, what's, what's the YouTube one I do? Udigoos, I actually am 
changing mind. It's going to be Rape Me by Nirvana. Um, it's going to be because that would be just to see oh the look God. on the judges' faces. <laughs> Rape me, my friend. I'm not the um, only one. Oh, you know no. what I'm going to do? I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do, <laughs> by the way, that's an amazing image. Uh, uh, but <laughs> the, um, <clears throat> Um, I'm picturing like all the judges now like taking like a fully clothed shower after you like sing that. So, uh, right. Exactly. Uh, the, uh, the, the, um, um, I'm gonna go with uh, um, um, what's the song by YouTube? That oh shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't ready for this. Go on. Somebody else. I would somebody sing else. Go. Part of your world from the Little Mermaid. Which what's the YouTube song, Lindsay? I can't remember it. I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Then you shouldn't be singing it. I can't remember the name of it. I can, it, I can, yeah. I can sing it, but I can't remember with the or without title. With or without you. you. Yes. Jesus Christ. Sorry. 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 But Little Mermaid, Part of Your World by Little Mermaid for Lexi. Yeah. Carly, what are you going to uh, do? I would do oh, Dusty you. Springfield. And Instead I, of a preacher man? No. Nice. That one's I fun, that but one. I would do You Don't Have to Say You Love Me. Because ah. that song is perfect. It's. Fuck you, that's why the By the Smud Peddlers. I don't even want to hear that song, much less sing it. Uh, is free will real or just an illusion? Is free will real or just an illusion? Well, I think, Lexi, you would say that everything's predetermined. I would also like to say I enjoy peaches. Fuck the pain away would be Fuck very the pain good. Away would be a very <laughs> good American Idol song. Um, I think that no, I think I think free will free will is. Is absolutely. I think free will is real. Yeah. Fuck everybody else. I don't like predetermined. If I met I one psychic that, that was worth their salt, I would feel differently. I think that there is also a predetermination, a and your free will is is predicted. I think there are an Maybe. infinite number know. of paths. There are an infinite number of paths that are all predestined. How about that? So there's both. There's okay. free will yeah. and, and. I feel like it's kind of both too. Yeah. I, I think that there's. You know, things you can pay attention to to kind of like clue into your world and what you're actually doing. Or you can fuck that up and make a chaotic choice that's going to spin you off into something else. Yes. So I, you know. I think it is kind of both. Uh, well, I, think it's, I think it's 100% free will, but you have the choice to completely give up that free will, which I guess is yeah. kind of what you're saying, and, and, and just like listen to what, you know. Fox News tells you, or something, you know. And uh, um, sorry to get uh, go well, there, no, but, like but yeah, but but you, but you, but there, I feel like there's people who like willingly ignore you know things and just sort of like this, this kind of go along and, and think that everything has to be. I play. don't, and I don't want to. They will not venture off the path they are on because they are so determined that they are right and this is the way things should be that they completely give up their free will because they're not thinking critically and they're not trying to evolve as human beings. I don't want to cry right now, yeah. but we were watching Queer Eye episode one, season two last night and Anthony is the food guy. Uh-huh. And when the, it was the, the, the sort of the, the victim, the subject was a black church going woman and she had a gay son who came out to her who she ended up accepting and she was telling the story of accepting him and, and uh, referred to it as a religious experience mm -hmm. where her moment came where she, she felt like God's presence over her and she accepted him for who he was, even though she lived in a town where um, no one, you know, people were very unaccepting of gay people and they weren't accepted in the church. And she saw it as like a religious experience washing over her. And Anthony was like weeping, talking to the camera. And he was like, she calls it a religious experience, but she made a choice. And some parents don't make that choice. I'm going to cry talking about it. And it was the most beautiful thing. I just, and it was beautiful. And it was literally like, yes, she can call it a religious experience all she wants, but it was her free will that told, that, that allowed her to say, no, I'm going to accept my son for who he is. But you could also say- It was unbelievable. That that free will, that choice, because everybody has to make a choice, could have been the right thing to do in the grand plan. Of course. And I think that, you know, her religion guided her in that, which is what, yeah. when you see the right version of religion, mm -hmm. like when you see religion guiding someone into acceptance and into love. Yes. That, ep the first episode, season two of Queer Eye, is one of the most emotional things I've seen in a while. I fucking lost it. 
I literally it was, lost yeah. it. Like this is it, the replay that's got heavy since I left. <laughs> <laughs> well, we moved on to questions. This happens though questions. with cocktails. Yeah, we moved on. Yeah, we got to like, questions. Wait, hey, yeah. if you want us to change it into a karaoke song or a dance off, all you have to do is you have to pay to make you yourself You have the happy. power. <laughs> Ten bucks, we'll sing Give a karaoke song. Give me twenty dollars, I'll make pretty picture for you. And for thirty bucks, we'll do another dance off. You choose the song. How did you connect this back to Queer Eye? I don't know, but it's so because good. Because it's holding me Wait, wait, so, like, Jen just went, did you, you freaked out, Jen. You just said Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. It was so beautiful. Was I was good. like, I was just yeah. vomiting tears last night. Um, yeah, good night, Lindsay. My, my wife has to go to sleep. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, night Lindsay. I will drunkenly sidle up next to you in, a, in an hour. Take care. Is the AC on? Yes. No, it's it's on. It's not cooling. Okay. Is um, it? No. <laughs> it is, I think. But, hey, yeah. cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Would you want to know you were going to die beforehand or die suddenly without warning? Without warning. Oh, without warning. Without warning. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Wait, wait, what was the question again? Well, when you know I you're going to die, though, you I are... I would not like the anticipation. But I wouldn't you get enjoy to, it. That's actually an interesting question. But you do you do get, like, time to fucking make your bet. Yeah, but who's saying it's today or it's tomorrow or it's months from now? They're just saying, yeah. would you rather know or not know? Well, if I they said it was a few years know. from now, my life would drastically change. Absolutely, but... I mean, it wouldn't change too much, but it would change. It would change. Wait, if you, you know you're going to... Would you rather know you're going to die or uh, ahead of time or just die randomly? Because part of me is like, if someone was like, you have, you know, X amount of time, I would like make my bed. You know what I mean? I would fucking do That's the thing, intense so really shit. Is, is I, don't actually, wanna I would like travel life. to fucking Japan. I would like do shit. You know what I mean? That's so. what you would do first? I'm just saying I would do things. No, I would I'm travel. Saying, I, I would like go a... intense. I would go hey. hard. Buddy, if that is the first and thing that pops random, in your mind, and if it was random, I'd be like, I know, I didn't, you, you know. travel to Japan. I know, now. I don't want. I'm dying to That's go to Tokyo. To I, I want to go to Tokyo. Here, so two bad. feet in the grave already, and I'd rather die in my sleep. I'm in uh, pain all the time already. There you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, can I prevent it? Is the real question? Absolutely. I want time to clear search history. Yeah, also that I can clear my search history. And stuff like that. Well, either way, I'll move on to less dour Jane, things. Hang in there. I hope everything. I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. We we, we love you. We, we, Absolutely. We all we all hope everything gets better for you. Absolutely. With your issues. I'm sorry. This is the problem with these questions. I try to yeah. get good well, ones. Then. Well, I try to get good ones so we can come up yeah. with like good instant three play. I would love that again. Instant three play. Thank you for. Well, you can't pretend like this shit isn't real. Like this yeah. doesn't happen. You. you it's okay. I to try talk to come up with it. thought pro to be provoking taboo. discussion questions, you know? I like embarrassing embarrassing stories from childhood. I think those are, <laughs> those are really good. We make, we, we, we make them laugh, nice. we make them blue. We make them laugh, we make them blue. Yeah, Why would I, we you make know, you I blue? I was listening to that and yeah, I said, right? like, while I was in the bathroom, I was putting on makeup and I was singing along to the song. Like, they do and make me blue. blue. And I was just like, no, that's actually true. <laughs> they do make us sad sometimes, don't they? <laughs> if you were on an island and could only bring three things, what would you bring? Time. And don't be raft or whatever. If you're trapped on an island and there's no oh, escape, accept your entrapment. Yeah, exactly. If you're if you are trapped there I'm forever and you thing. have three things, what three? is it? Yeah. Damn. Well, it's the one thing. Well, the one thing is good shoes. If I have to yes. make one thing in any survival scenario, good it's shoes. Good shoes. Done. Thought about it. It's the most essential. Yes. Most. Then, most if I get to get fancy about it, I get a knife. That's just fucking useful. And then I kind of want mosquito netting. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And maybe it's just because that book when I was a kid, what was it, where he crashes the airplane on the island? And he, I'm so allergic to mosquitoes. So the idea of getting trapped in an island where mosquitoes just eat me alive is horrible. And I feel like you can use that same netting to catch fish or... You know, you could make mm -hmm. more uses we, out of we, it. My, my wife but and I that's were, what you would need. Lindsay and I went to uh, um, uh, Cozumel, yeah. uh, like for like one of our anniversary trips a couple of years ago. And uh, there's there's like these these old like ancient like like Mayan like 
temples and things you can go see. I mean, it's, it's ruins essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can go there like in the middle, like this, this kind of rainforest mm -hmm. uh, there. Uh, is there Cosmo. a mosquito name? And yeah, the, the thing is, there's so many mosquitoes. They, they, you have to be sprayed down before you go in there because a swarm of mosquitoes just follows you around and it's horrifying. You're just like, mm, they I would mean, just be like eating me alive right now if they did. If they hadn't actually like like, like used like, this intense like. Like uh, like spray all yeah it's it was really one of the even, freakiest things I, I was like I don't remember where to come this is beautiful I love being here but this yeah. is terrifying I just They're happen just, to be it's... allergic if they if they didn't itch me so crazily yeah. I wouldn't consider that a priority but that's a real deal thing I, I like I... lighter and knife for sure lighter yeah lighter is helpful fire you need yeah, fire yeah I feel like you can figure that out. I need a book on how to uh, survive on a desert island. Book oh, on book. how to survive on a desert island, says Lexi. I like that. Of course, always it's like, rap, boop, yacht. A flare. <laughs> no. A flare would be good. No, I'm kidding, I think I'm kidding. It was, God, what was it called? It's this kid. I don't even know. I mean, what is good there? I feel like once you're there, you just need to be an there. Island. And you have nothing. And he ends up tearing his pants up to get the mosquitoes away. Uh, cast away. I remember away. the, the it's 90s not movie cast version. Away. Of it might be cast away. It's a child. Saw, it's like a 13 year old. I keep thinking Shiloh, but that was the book about the dog. I feel like I have only dark I questions remember. for you people. That's a great book, so I'll figure it out. Is, is it, it more. Blade or like dagger? Is it more important to help yourself, <laughs> help your family, help your society, or help the world? Is it more important to help yourself? Hatchet! Help it's your totally family. Hatchet. It's totally hatchet. It's that's, totally that's hatchet. Book. That's that book. book exists now in the same way it did in my childhood. It's a good book. Good book. Thank family you, Cordo. Thank you. Is it more important to help yourself, you, help family, help right. society, or help the world? So for the you, world. it's help family, society, or the world because you never. You are the most selfless person I know. It's the world because then it goes society and family. Like those things are included in the world, so you have to help. The I world. Guess See, what's that's true. funny is I actually think society, because from a societal standpoint, you could branch out into the other two areas. That's and the true. world gets helped, and the family gets yeah, helped. Yeah, because so the world isn't going to change all at once. Um, I need to think about it for a second. Did you ask Lexi? Yourself, your family, society, or the world? Yeah, Lexi said the world. Yourself. I'm gonna say you yourself. I think about me and all. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I might. Act, I was gonna say the world, but I think maybe Carly just convinced yeah. me society is better. Is if you help society, society can your help both the world better. and your family. Your family is You're gonna kinda, get that's better. That's the middle way. That's the in between. I'm a big believer in the Buddhist uh, concept of the middle way, by the way, which what is like finding the, the, the point that? in between. That's just uh, the AC above us okay. or rain. It could be one or the other. They didn't warn us at all. It's like no one's gonna acknowledge. So sometimes I actually have to just like sit there and stare at the question for a second. Before right. What are you gonna say? I'm, I, I, to be honest, I'm completely on board with the society. Like, right. like, like because I feel like I think it'll go boosh. for the same reasons we've actually already discussed, like Carly brought up. So yeah. Boosh. <laughs> That's the technical no, term for it. I That's my mean. platform. Boosh. <laughs> Would you rather be famous when you are alive and forgotten when you die, or unknown when you are alive and famous after you die? I always said to myself in high school, I very quickly decided not to be a scientist because every scientist I learned about was mocked and ridiculed while they were alive. And then the moment they died, they were like, oh, they were the second coming of whatever. They come, came up with this brilliant thing that they were laughed at for all of the years that they were alive. So I was like, I'll never be a scientist because they never get recognition until after they're long dead. So I think I'd rather be probably famous when I'm alive, forgotten when I die, I guess. I mean, I want to definitely... Uh, I want to give things that, you know, um, to the world that like are long lasting after I'm dead. But at the same time, I feel like you could still do that inherently and not be famous after you're dead. You That's know what I mean? True, yeah. So I'd rather be famous while I was alive uh, and at least enjoy my life. I mean, not that famous fame is necessarily enjoyment, but I'd like to have good solid recognition while I was alive and felt satisfied with my life. Uh, and uh, I think pass satisfaction on happy. is a much more attractive word than frame. Than, than yeah, famous frame. is kind of hard to say, but at least what they're saying is, I think, like, get renowned for your success while you're alive. Yeah, you know? I think Lauren's taken the last 
question, which is you have to start small, in my opinion, and help yourself to help the world. If everyone did that, you wouldn't have to help the world. And that's true. I guess if everybody that's helped true. themselves, then they'd be all right. I just don't trust everyone else. That's as long as my that's family that's remembers me exactly. Is that the cynical side of I'm that? I'm also, well... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I almost went down. I, 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 I uh -oh. almost opened my floodgates to go into a whole political thing. I'm not going to do that. But Donald the, Trump! Is, uh, <laughs> Donald Trump! This podcast, by the way, is called Trump. We talk only yeah. about Trump. For the, uh, I just wanted uh, to scream. Podcast. I just wanted to sorry. scream the president's yeah. name at you. I'm sorry I did that. <laughs> And you I, did it to like the corner, and I was like, "Why well, do you want to scream him? right into his face? Do you know, I don't want to like spit on him." Over there? <laughs> no, I, I'm trying not to cry every day because of this fucking thing with like where where where, where children are being put into prison camps. Yeah. So, uh, so. Life is uh, nice. Says yeah. as long as Jeff remembers me. No. I remember you. Life is nice. You're my you're my you're my nephew now, right? Uh, anyway, uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go, going Let's back take to this the question. Next one. Yes. Pinball. What was the question? Uh, it, oh, yeah. Well, this it, is when we get drunk. By the way, thirty. I'll tell you what. I'll reduce the price on it. Twenty dollars for a dance off, please. We'll do twenty dollars for a dance off. Ten dollars for a karaoke. Karaoke song. Karaoke. Karaoke. He'll just fucking dance. Just fucking dance. Even yeah. if you just say yeah, a song in Laura. chat. Do what now? Have a song on hold? I can't recall. No, I don't think so. I think we're. Oh no! Yes, heroes. We do have heroes. heroes. Yeah. How long though? Let's do yeah, well. Well, let, let's do one you know, more the question and then we'll response. do the song. I'm sorry. What okay. was that last question? I actually did want to answer that. Uh, I think it was Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> it was like Donald Trump or Donald Trump. Which one would you rather? I can't remember Donald what Trump. it was. Would you rather be famous when you're alive or forgotten? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forget it. I was with you. I was. It's like every now because I'm 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 an atheist anyway, so I don't give a shit what happens after I die. Would you so, rather have your dick ripped off or have it drained of its blood? <laughs> Oh. Well, have you, I think one therefore in turns the other. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever oh. crapped your pants since you were a child? I've told this story many times. I'll tell it again. I had a bad. Uh, it was a cash hall, which uh, Carly actually cash lived hall. at before You've Carly. Told it so many times, I don't think you need to tell it again. Before Carly and I met, actually, we both stayed we at the same, the same dormitory, but we didn't even know each crazy other. Dorm. She was in the dorms. I was in the apartment style dorms. It was a little fancier. Fancy. I had an actual apartment, even though I it was the dorm. worst apartment I've ever lived in. It was horrible. You did horrible things. Everyone did horrible things to those apartments. Yes, those it were was like awful. full on like let's trash. It me. was awful. No they one were terrible lived there. spaces. So anyways they had really bad food at the cafeteria there and there was a meal plan so you had to eat there. So we'd go to the cafeteria, we'd the eat <laughs> and uh, we'd eat these bur I ate a burger and I remember walking back to the apartment and I was like, whoa, I need to move faster now. So I started moving faster, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. But it was still a little alley. I can literally see it in my head right now. It's a little alleyway back to the apartment. And I remember being like, I was like, all right, fart there were normal. volleyball courts. Do you remember there were volleyball yes. courts? <laughs> I was like, all right, fart time, normal. <laughs> Farted was like, that wasn't normal. I definitely shit my pants. <laughs> started just running, sprinting back to the apartment. And I was like, thank God my roommate wasn't there. Ran into the bathroom, just like took a shower immediately, dropped all my shit, and threw away. I think I threw away my underpants. Um, <laughs> and that was the last that? time I've yeah, fully shit my pants have... as an adult. Carly, have you ever shit yourself as Never a, an shit adult? Never shit myself. Never really? I'm not no. looking forward to it. I Seriously? I had a sick I shirt. I pissed myself once. It was just really, okay. really. Oh, really, really sick I at the time. I had like a bad stomach flu you know, thing. You know, just go to the girls' party babies. Pee yourself. It was like, <laughs> like you know, walk around in the morning. Sometimes you just need to. It's okay. I was in sweatpants anyway. It didn't really matter. Yeah, <laughs> you were. <laughs> but it was just like, it was just like, oh, oh, like, it was like, oh, <laughs> sick shirt. Stomach virus. <laughs> <laughs> and Carly, what's the piss yourself story? Might as well give it if uh, it's that's really the only not a, thing. It's not an exciting <laughs> one. It's that I was driving my little Honda Civic home. And uh, I pulled into the driveway, managed to not pee in the car. But it was like, I was counting. I remember holding the steering wheel and just being like, la, 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 You know, like doing anything that I could just take the fact off the fact that I was going to pee. And so I peed. And you know what? It was great. I washed my clothes. It was all okay. If I hadn't had the equivalent of probably Go like before you 12 leave anywhere. shots of liquor tonight, I probably wouldn't have mentioned Sick Shark. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, That's everybody. That's so great yeah. about this show. not as bad as Oh, we haven't done Heroes yet, right, yeah. I will say, too, uh, 
I, de I, I, I told this story before too, but I love this story of when I was drunk as fuck. We had just gotten drunk. We were taking a walk around the neighborhood. This was in college, or high school rather. And um, I went to go pee in a bush, like a big bush. And I peed in so, I peed right into the bush so much that it just got all over me. The it was just bush, all actually. yes. I, I peed all over this bush, <laughs> and it 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 just immediately bounced back onto my pants. <laughs> so I just had piss all over my pants because Good. I oh, it was so Good, funny. I did that right. And everyone laughed, and I was so upset, and I had to just like end the night. You know what I mean? It was so, such a bummer. All right, heroes. Who donated for it? Let me let's shout them out right now. Someone donated for Heroes, uh, and it was Cordo. Thank you so much. Let's yeah, do yeah, some yeah. Heroes for the for the ladies is in the Cordo chips right now. Oh, this is I believe Cordo is still in. Oh, yeah, he's definitely alive. Yeah. But I mean, all right, totally let's do. Hanging. All right, how are we navigating this, McNeely? You started. Uh, there it is. Uh, uh. You could swim like the dolphins, like the dolphins can't swim. Although nothing, nothing will keep us together, we can be there. Oh, we can be heroes just for one day. day. Hey. Uh, I'll do this next one. I figured. I'll harmonize. <laughs> I will be king And you You will be queen The nothing Will drive them away We can be heroes But just one day we can be us just for one day. I I can remember standing by the wall and the guns. Shot above our heads And we kissed So nothing, nothing could fall And the shame Was on the other side It keep me too hot Oh, we can be them We can be heroes just for one day. We can, we can be heroes We can be heroes We can be heroes just for one day We can be heroes Oh yeah, this is, this is the long solo one. Okay. Oh, they had it off. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Aw, oh, damn. That was so good. Woohoo! Thank you so much. You when want another, I uh, heavy metal. If you Woo like another karaoke song, it is that only... That one's fun. Uh, that was super fun. It's only, uh, what, 10 Dolores? 
a dance off for 30. I'd love to kick it off, finish it oh, out with a big ass a dance, dance off. off. I would love You name the song. We'll do one I song have, each. I have a you song. name the song. I would love for you yeah. guys to do a dance off. Too. Let us know. But either way, we'll kick it back to the jazz and we'll do Woo! some more questions. If anybody wants to donate and say it's Lexi's choice for the dance off song, Lexi's I got choice. a good one, especially if you are oh, a fan of Oh, we just reduced Drag the price to it's 20 bucks for that, by the way. $20. I don't dance for less than 25. You know, he don't. You it's just true. said earlier you were going to dance for 15. Well, I'm contrarian. <laughs> All right, well, I, I actually this love is This is a long question. <laughs> I love this question. All right. Uh, oh, please, Indy. India. Done too much. India. Please. Indy, too much. Jesus, yeah. You, I, you I keep I the hope alive. By huh? the way, you're getting the spiral picture, too. Please. So and I'm going to paint you another thing, too. Yeah. So, and send it. So. I prizes, prizes. Man, baby, Panks, thank you so much for the sub, hey, baby. Thanks for joining. I love it. With the Twitch Prime sub, thank you so much, man. All right. This is a longer question. I love this question, so though. Much. It's very sci-fi and, and a very Ooh, sci-fi like sci mode right now. I'm reading uh, Ubik by Philip K. Dick. Cyberpunk 2077 is the game I'm most excited about right now. There's a lot about of sci-fi it. happening. I it's, haven't watched it yet, though. Oh, we'll preview. watch it after this, okay, then. Thank you. you are going to lose your mind over this trailer. It is awesome. <laughs> if someone you love... Also, uh, what uh, uh, we've got on TV... Um, what's the sci-fi movie that just came out that's, like, super good? Uh, starts with an A, whatever. I can't oh. Know. You'll tell me later. Yeah. yeah. If someone you loved was killed in front of you, but someone created a copy of them that was perfect, right down to the atomic level... Would they be the same person, and would you love them just as much? No. Just straight up no? So easy. I don't know. I mean, they would be the same person. Atomically the I same person, like, but who's to would, say your memories and your, yeah. you know, like your bullshit I think I would are connected out to your, your I think cells? I would, would, I would fuck still you care for yeah, them. I, I just would not be able to like, get, because I'd be like, but I don't know. It's like, maybe because I, because I'm, but I, I, I would question I'd be like, I'd be like yeah. I don't. But it's not really Lindsay. I, I don't know. I would, it would. There'd be too many like sort of weird. I think life is nice, right? A little less, because mm. life is not about like loving a person that has so much to do with the experience. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, right. Like it's that you actually had like those experiences it was Lindsay together. That got, that that got killed in front of you. Oh, is that, that what else? No, no, no. I just, I just uh, was said it was started with an A, and you know, they were like ultra carbon. That is not correct. It's but, a movie. I forgot. But it's the big movie right now. Um, I feel like a little less, yes, because it's about experience, right? If it was right. Lindsay that was murdered right in front of you, and then you got a new Lindsay, you wouldn't have all the experience, the past experiences with that Lindsay. Would it be like starting over with, with the, the person Lindsay. when you first met them? Exactly, okay. right? No, 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 I mean, but it kind of would be because... Annihilation, yes. Annihilation, that's the movie I'm talking about. That apparently Where is that a really good oh. uh, sci-fi flick that, that is... Uh, but okay, so no, I'm asking you: Is it like starting over from the beginning with this person, or is it? Um, I mean, I, it wouldn't. It would never be able to be right because if a person was killed in front of you, and then a carbon copy was made of them that was presented to you, like even if they had the memories physical. of meeting you, yeah, like would they have the memories or not? I don't I'm not know. Sure. Like I, I need to know more. About but either way, that wouldn't be. Let's say it was okay. So like that. This is why I was bringing up the Lindsay thing, so right? Sorry. She's a man, baby! Lexi's choice of dance-off! Hell yeah, Lexi, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dude. So, so if, let's say it was Lindsay, you wouldn't have all... It wouldn't be... That woman would not be the woman that you had all those past experiences with. No. Even if she mm -hmm. pretended to... It was to, biologically if, the same. It's not the same. Even if yeah. she had the memory of those experiences yeah. with you, that physical person... And let's say it was your daughter's, it would still not be the little girl that you well, saw. Why you gotta do this to him? I'm just saying, he's talking about it would still not be, being killed. It would still not be the little <laughs> baby, well, I mean, you know, that you saw born, right? Like, yes. no matter what. <laughs> I would right? still care about it. I don't think I'd be that able to help myself. I would arm. still carry you about it. When you left, yeah. And, told you and then, then she was you. just, yeah. That's then, not really And then if she just exploded in front of you, and then a new girl showed up. I'm just saying, Jeff. Why could you have both? <laughs> Robot person and <laughs> normal uh, This is my goal is to get you to laugh at your the, the imagination of your own India family's death. India wants to cuddle death. with Charlie. <laughs> Who doesn't oh, yeah. want to cuddle with Charlie? Who doesn't want to cuddle with My brain. I'm just like, ah! Oh, 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 oh,
Um, All these logic questions. So, yes, Mickey, Mikey, less Keeler, so. Son, Brain, Shake. Exactly, right? How has being a parent changed you? Well, I would say, <laughs> uh, for me, Is that seriously like, the question? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm. I uh, literally, I'm the only person who can answer. Yes, you're the only person who can answer. Are there so, any other parents in chat? Any, any other parents in chat want to answer this? How has a parent changed you? Probably not, because they're probably not drunk with us on the stream right now. But they might. I be. mean, uh, parents got to so relax too. This one's for you. How has a parent a changed you? It's a pretty harmless way and to do it. As a parent, if you saw your child explode in front of you, how would that have changed you? Oh my god. And would you? Uh, <laughs> but uh, recreate them. Which one? Wait, which one? I the twins. last one. What's that? The left one. Which the left one was one? that? <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of like which one to sleep. So what the are their names? The left one is Emily. What are their names? And I walk in there and Emily I'm like, and and like Emily's in this, the limbs in this bed and battles in that bed. So it's like, so Emily. So Emily explodes. Uh, that, that, that probably <laughs> fucked me up. Mile explodes, hilarious. Oh, no. I, yeah, I am back to haunt saving one day. this. Uh, I am <laughs> saving this video and I will show these daughters this. When they are 13 years old, and it will be so <laughs> thrilling to watch them see this video right now. So, anyways, Jeff, how's changed? How is being my, dad, my life is a lie, and my daddy's horrible. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> Lauren also no. answer the answer the question as well, please. Oh, Lauren. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Throw yeah. it out there. Okay. So, well, I'm gonna answer this. I'm gonna the opposite of this bullshit. I've been the, the, the stupid stuff I'm saying here. I'm gonna say that. I learned an entirely new way of loving a human being that I didn't know existed until because I couldn't because you can't. Right. Be, it, it, it's it, and I, I don't mean like no you fucking can't do well, it. I just mean the, like it just means like there's a whole biolog there's a thing that happens I when think, a, a child. I think for like, me that's the allure of having children. Yeah. Because I don't necessarily see that now. Yeah. But I feel like I need to understand this new level of love by having a child. And I wouldn't even say, like, it's like, yeah, it, like, it's not like a new level. It's like, like, now I love more intensely and better than I before. It's not that. It's like, I mean, love is love. Love is great, you know? And I love my wife, and I love her in a way that I've never loved But if that before. baby comes out black, I'm done. <laughs> We're over. Just throwing it out there. Um, <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Yeah, I'm saying it right um, now. I don't know how to bring it back. From that. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know how you. How you, how you the, uh, there's the, no way to, to fix that. No, no, no. This, <laughs> it's fine. It's on screen yes, now. Yes. You're gonna you're gonna upload this to YouTube. It's, it's on there forever. Uh, but, uh, Same with you talking about me. No, 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 no. It's it's, it's, it's uh, no, no. <laughs> Oh come on. No, I was gonna say that, that, but 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 just that that, and it's not like 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 I love them more than my wife. I don't. It's like it's like it's a different kind of yeah. thing. Right. It, that makes it, sense. It's, it's, Parental it's, love is different it's, from. It's a really. It's a deep. It's, 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 it's a whole. It's a different level. That, to the point that I'm so grateful for because I look at them and I'm just like I just. Oh. To to the yeah. point yeah. where I have to have Jeff answer these questions differently. Like, Lauren kind of said the same I have thing. to have Jeff answer these questions as if he didn't have children, as if he did, because that's how much of a difference children make in your life. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we have these like "would you rather" or metaphorical questions, yeah. where it's like, "All right, answer this as if you before kids, and then answer this after kids," because yeah. the answer will always be kids. Like, what's the first thing you save in a blah blah blah? Like, what's you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's I mean, yeah. it's such an intense. Responsibility and love, you know. And, Lauren, and Lauren said, "Yeah, you love so much differently." And it's like, and yeah, I totally. I mean, I, feel like I, I, I want to like parent out with Lauren for a minute. Like, just like get right when I do this. Like that, we won't <laughs> do that. We'll, we'll we won't hijack screen. But would you but, rather be able to see ten minutes into your own future or ten minutes into the future of anyone but yourself? And again, Jeff, with kids and without kids, this is exactly when I have to do this. Because of course, he'd rather see ten minutes into his daughter's future. Why? Again, Would you rather I, see I, 10 I, I, minutes I into your own future? It's not that I didn't listen to you. I was just saying I like to be able to stare at the If you had a special ability, would uh -huh. you rather spend, be able to have the ability to see 10 minutes into your ten own minutes. future and 10 minutes or 10 minutes into anyone else's? I guess someone else, because what's going to happen in 10 minutes in my life? 
I mean, at any time. <laughs> it's going to happen in 10 minutes. Like, what's the big rush? Well, at any time, anything. I'm that saying gives you, you a superpower, too, really. Yeah. If you can see into you somebody else's look into and you know what they're going to do ahead of time, that's kind of amazing. So yeah. do you want to be I a superhero or do you want to be a supervillain? I think a villain would probably want to see into their own future, yeah. right? Yeah. I think so. I think so. Well, what I would want to see into my own future in terms of an audition if I go in and fuck it up or not. It's and then not a waste if of time. I... If I but it's it's a very minutes. selfish but from your perspective. Minutes. Minutes. Yeah. You're yeah. still Fucking waiting up. that whole time. <laughs> what? You'd still be waiting in that exactly, room. Exactly. It's only 10 minutes into yeah. the future. So right. I'd be like, okay, so that I need to do differently. But if I could like sit like a random person, whoever might accidentally yes, step I into it's in front of a bus, then... Oh, is it... Con- oh, it's continuous. I think it's, I think it's like... You have the ability to always be able to always see 10 minutes tennis. into either your own future or everyone else around you. I think life is nice Other to... Uh, yeah, I, don't want, I, still, yeah. I don't really want to know my shit. Yeah. yeah. Other it, people, for sure. Is you... Uh, because then, in a way, you're affecting your own future. Where are you located, life is nice? Because you're making another choice. You, you could save you somebody, somebody that, from, like, like no, stepping no, out in front of a bus, you know? I think maybe but myself. See me, Al. I know what I'm doing. people I love, I'd be able to see that future as well because they'd be related to me. So me. You is, play New York, I'll come check you out, Life is Nice, I'm just saying. Is humanity headed in the right or wrong direction? Wrong. Oh, getting these questions. Uh, well, but, uh, well, well I think right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it. I'm I think as much as we want to say, oh, Trump this, Trump that, whatever, with America, with the world, I think that we are way headed in the right direction. Here's we a, have, there are way less deaths than ever before. If you think about humanity 50 years ago, we were in a much more fucked up place than we are now, no matter what point play. I don't care who's elected currently. Well, like, no, nice. We're talking about civil rights and shit like that. That was not that long ago. We are in a way better place. I think we're definitely headed in a better direction, but we're hitting some snafus, but that's happening on both sides, in my opinion, because there's a lot of... The reason why I think that man was put in office was because of a lot of uh, nonsense going... I think, I think a, a lot of it had to do with people being unable to handle what social media is. And then a bunch of idiots saw that and was like, we need to elect this fucking asshole to keep these social media idiots in line. You know what I mean? And that was a dumb reaction, too. So it's like... Dumb way to handle politics. Yeah. I think that's how I see politics. There's a bunch of dummies reacting to dumb shit. Go on, Joe. Here's here's like a real, like, like, like a question I have. It's like, would the Me Too movement have happened if, if that fucking asshole wasn't our president? Uh, I, I don't know if it would have been on the same scale. I don't know if it would either because, no. because people were so like, well, it's like a fucking confessed like no. like uh, li- li- like 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 so. sexual predator and and like alleged rapists and everything, you know, and like underage pedophile, mm-hmm. you know, the, the shit. Like, because those like, dudes like, were it's like, hiding it's like under the liberal fight, agenda. Too, we got to like, fight back against this group of people, and so yeah. luckily, disgusting assholes like. Exactly. Uh, like Harvey Weinstein well, also the people outed, in power. Yeah, like, if if the you know, I mean, Weinstein was like buddy buddy with Hillary. So yeah. again, I don't think that. India, would be why do we do politics now? Sorry, India. Yeah. <laughs> we won't go to. Yeah, we'll keep this light. It's we're ruining Carly's birthday. Try some open so, mics. No, so. it's, it's not ruined. Care. It's fine. <laughs> the next like thing is one. well, no, as much as there is all of this stuff, there's still lots of. I think still, if you look there, at just the progress of humanity, like and less people like are dying You just have to change your general. focus a little bit. If you want your day-to-day to be better, I don't know. That's that's how For I sure. handle it, is that maybe it's a little selfish, but I'll be like, ah, oh, sure. look at the river. Ah, oh, look at the trees. Is the, and I, You have to to keep sane, right? You know, like I, you, um, I hate to say it, but that's what gets me by. It's not... Is the meaning of life... Conquering anything. Is the meaning yeah. of life the same for it. animals and humans? No. No. Define, Carly. It has to do with consciousness. It's not that their lives don't matter. It's that they are not conscious of their life. So humans, therefore... Yeah, they're not going to sit and ponder the meaning of life. Like, you know. The meaning of a dog's life is to please their owner. (laughs) Yes. Or to live and be happy and be free. And that's equally, like, like, viable. But But they're 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 still... It's still not the consciousness thing. Just throws it. I mean, like you could argue maybe an octopus. Now, yeah, are, are we you talking know what like? Saying recently, are we talking about way, like oh, if they're, they're less than us, they should be murdered? Because that's from another nonsense. Planet. 
Yeah. Because they're able to do things that are unexplainable on any level by humans and, and animals. And staying it They're able all to blend along. in with their environment in ways that are completely all along. Ob- ob- uh, insane. Underwater creatures are equally as terrifying and unknown as the way that they're able to camouflage. Outer they're, space. Little, they're not able to camouflage. They're themselves. finally acknowledging they're able to that. Naturally, camouflage themselves. Right. right. They're able to like transform into anything. Like so, there's there's a theory now that. That octopuses, like s- certain breeds, have, have actually are like not from here. Are That's so cool. Literally from another planet. They don't I understand their own mortality. That's true. So uh, definitely the meaning Mr. changes. Mr. Manjini said, uh, "Why do we dream, Carly?" I've been thinking about oh, this a lot lately. Is dreaming useless, answer. or is is there? Per- I would say Lexi and Carly would both say dreaming has a ton of purpose and use. I've yeah. Thought about this a lot. Yeah. So wait, wait, I mean, and do you have any? any yeah. Dreaming is your set, like your way of practicing at things that you fear or that you're trying to prepare for. You might not utterly, but you're anticipating them. Maybe anticipation is a better word than fear. So your brain puts you through the trials so that you might learn something from it. And it's pulling all the information it possibly knows about that context and saying, here, give it a shot. Because dreams have to have a biological purpose. They have to service us in some way for survival. And so I can only think that they, they're your chance for your psyche to, like, exercise. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with Carly. All right. And I it's believe like in all the deal. different symbolisms and meanings. And yeah. I like to analyze it and be like, what does this mean? It's good exercise. There's no reason you shouldn't. The fact that everybody has dreams where they show up someplace, you know, in some sort of form of, un- form of undress, and that everybody has dreams where, like, where their teeth are falling out. Yes, and so everybody. It's like, I be- there's makes absolutely think there's symbols. A, there's some kind of there's common symbol. denominator there, right? Yeah, yeah. there's there's so. collective uh, consciousness. There's like a, yeah. a or subconsciousness with uh, symbolism. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really interesting. I just thought a lot about when, you know, when you get depressed, I feel like when I was depressed, I would sleep a lot and I would just escape in dreams and lose myself in dreams. It's a good dream. But then that, those dreams, even if it was a bad dream, I would just want to rather be in the dreaming world than the real world because I'm just bummed out in life or like life is just not motivating me. But if you think of that as your own survival mechanism of like, uh uh-oh, I'm depressed, I'm not doing well, I'm going to practice in this safe True. space. Yeah. I'm going to practice those things I fear practice so maybe life. I can conquer Push them. And, and it's not okay. always a, a you know a, a very a obvious world. way. Yeah. It could be through imagery. I'm yeah, really so. intrigued by the concept of lucid dreaming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, of course. It's like, I, yeah, I, I've never really like gone down the road but that I, I've gotten like I've, I've done things where I'm like where I'm like I can like pull myself out of a nightmare now where I can actually okay. recognize myself in a dream mm-hmm. and go like uh-oh. Oh, okay, and wake myself up in the th- and I feel like that's like that's like a, a step in that direction. Here. I kind of when but, that happens yeah. to me, I keep going because even if it's a nightmare, I'm kind of just entranced by whatever journey I'm on. Well, if you're having an awesome nightmare, it's then. not <laughs> ever awesome. It's it's always pretty awful, but I yeah. I still kind of like ah, I'm gonna see this through. It's always when I start flying in a dream. That because I have it's flying dreams once. a lot, and I'm just like, oh, wish. flying, and it, oh, it's so awesome. And then it's like, wait, you're flying, this means you're dreaming, and then you go into like lucid dream. One more question before the <laughs> Lexi dance off choice okay. challenge, and that'll close out the stream for the night. Will Can it? human nature be changed? <gasps> Should it be changed? Depends on the nature. I think that human nature is constantly changing. And I think, yes, it absolutely should constantly be changing. I think human nature has been changing. Yeah, it's evolution. Yeah, no, right, it reminds me of the Bjork song. I think that our nature is constantly changing. Constantly changing. So, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm Mr. Buddhist belief with that stuff. I mean, we're always changing everything about us. I'm completely 100% with you. I couldn't imagine how different I am from some ancestor of mine from years and years and years, you know, decades back. Garlic? I mean, absolutely. There you go. Change is good. Lexi? Change is always good. Yeah, it, sh- it should be changing. Um, I think that we should always be evolving, but um, not uh, we should be evolving in a positive way, not in a destructive way, because we do have the capacity to, to destroy ourselves so much, you know, given 
a limitless circumstances. So we just shouldn't get iPhones installed in our. Yeah, faces. that's the thing. I think that we are kind of evolving a little bit to. Uh, I have no answer to this to final question. So Batman. Bad man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I think that brings us on to our final I'm, dance off. No, no, not you. Who's holding? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Lexi. No, what else? it's, it's fine. It's fine. Thought? So the dance off. It's fine. Um, <laughs> So I was gonna say "Kitty Girls" by RuPaul. Okay. But let's India do. wants Joan Jett versus Batman Beyond. Me. Me. Well, McGinnis. let's do a meet. I'll do I'll do RuPaul. Uh, what was it? Candy oh. Girls. Kitty Girls. Kitty Girls. Okay. Kitty. The time's been on the whole night. It's coming off. Yeah. Cover it's Girl. Your world? No, up there, up there, up there. I saw it. Kitty Girl, right yeah. here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, I will do, and then what? What's Jeff's song? Oh, wait, no, I, I, I gotta go. Go the way. Dance off is one song, here. and then we just go back and forth, right? Sure. Yeah, here, go ahead. There Unless we go. Unless you want to do two. This ones. one. All right, we're doing it. This will be the final, the dance off for, to close out the night. It is Kitty Girl, Lexi's choice. It is Kitty Girl, uh, by RuPaul. Yes. Is this just a friendly one? This is absolutely a competition. I will be putting up the straw poll for that fact. Hold on just a second. We'll close out this uh, this stream in the best way possible with the dancing competition. This, this looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can see there was like there, there was a, a this glass sitting. It couldn't have been 